good YouTube? It's your boy Rota here. What's happening everybody? What's good? How's you guys this afternoon going? As you see today we have number 21 ranked USC who is playing the third string quarterback that I just found out today versus number 17 Washington. Hopefully we get a good game on our hands. But what's up Daniel? What's up Nathaniel? King PJ, Sarah, Anthony, Terrell, Boom, Broom. What's up guys? How's it going? Who do I want to win? Whoa, I want Washington to win. I don't like, I'm not a huge USC fan, so I definitely want Washington to win. Unfortunately, USC is starting a third string quarterback, so that's, I don't know. Hopefully, this is a good game. Hopefully, this is a good game. But I definitely want Washington to win, for sure. Yeah, Landon, honestly, if this game gets out of hand, I might switch to that game, to be honest, because. I probably should have done that game not knowing that USC has a third-string quarterback. Am I ready for tomorrow? Yep. I'll be live tomorrow morning at 10 o'clock for Raiders and Colts. Tomorrow morning. I'll be live for Raiders and Colts. They could, but it's just the problem is USC right now is down at a third-string quarterback. Yep, I saw that, our crew. And, man, what a game between Texas A&M and Arkansas. That was a great game as well. 31-27, Texas A&M won. Nice, Sarah. what's up. I think Washington still plays. Yeah, they do. Or, yeah, no, I don't think Washington plays Notre Dame. I know USC does. Alabama is starting at the same time this game is. I'm going to watch my Cowboys. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, 49ers might get flexed in week six. Into Sunday Night Football. So that means we'll get back-to-back primetime games. Yep, Texas A&M. Texas A&M is 3-2 and two and they're still ranked. That's kind of crazy that they've lost twice and still ranked. Team Josh, what's up, Owen? Can't wait to see how the Dolphins future quarterback does. Oh, yeah, Team Josh, baby. Damn right. Damn right. I want a flex game. Yeah, I, I want it too, Nathaniel. That'd be great, man. Imagine we beat the Browns next next uh, Monday, and then we go into that game 4-0 and against maybe the 5-0 and Rams. Oh, my God. That'd be such a great game. I mean, nobody really wants to steal these Steelers and Chargers. Nobody really wants to see Steelers and Chargers. Yeah, Jalen Hurts is doing great. Lincoln Riley is maybe the best coach in college right now. He can turn any quarterback into a great quarterback. 24-17 Notre Dame. We'll see. I maybe should have done that game. But so I I I don't I want to expand my uh, horizons. So I've already done Notre Dame. I really want to do this game cuz it's Pac-12. And it's two ranked teams. But then again, so is Virginia and Notre Dame. It's all right. This game gets out of hand. Maybe I'll change everything to Notre Dame and Virginia. So, this gets out of hand, guys. I'll be switching over to Notre Dame and Virginia. <laughs> New haircut. Boy, I've got... I've had this haircut for like two weeks. What's going on, Chris Senior? Uh, Super Bowl 34, Owen? <laughs> Nobody's excited for that. But yeah, guys. So, if this game turns ugly, because USC is starting the third string quarterback, I, uh... God damn it. I'll change it to Notre Dame and Virginia and just change all my tags and stuff. Hey, Joe Davis on the call. Like to see that. Brock Hood. I said halftime show. It's uh it's not Super Bowl 34, Owen. Uh, it's been great, man. Just got up, watched a couple college football games, now on for this game. Yep, Washington quarterback Jacob Eason finally getting his shot, man. He's been sitting behind Jake Brown in the last, what, three years, two years? Rivers, Eckler, Bosa, Melvin Ingram get hurt. Phillips can win. Dude, I hope Melvin Gordon takes away, like, red zone opportunities from Austin Eckler. Because I'm facing Austin Eckler against Crazy Mofo in the Circuit League. Baker Mayfield throwing three in the That would be amazing. We'll see, though. Uh, 
Oh, look at the Husky. <laughs> yep. Once again, we got number 21 ranked USC. And number 17 ranked Washington. It should be. Let's hope for a good game. Because, like I said, USC is starting their third string quarterback. I'll switch back and forth between three games. There you go. I thought he's coming back week five. Who? Oh, no. Gordon's playing tomorrow, Daniel. Because Justin Jackson's out. So, really, Chargers don't have any other running backs on their roster. So, he's playing tomorrow. He's going to be their backup, though. He's not starting. Eckler's starting. Well, Matt Fink, third-string quarterback for USC, came off the bench and threw 300-plus yards against Utah last week. So, we'll see what he does this week. No, he's he's back this week because Justin Jackson's hurt. So, they need someone to back up Eckler. <laughs> No, Daniel. Yeah. Yep. Royland's playing today. So, like I said, I hope he takes away red zone opportunities from Eckler. I really do. All right. Let me pull up USC and Washington's rosters real quick. Is it the draft yet? Not yet, buddy. Not yet. Virginia. Yeah, Virginia is a good team. I probably should have done that Notre Dame game. But it's all good. Like I said, this should be a pretty good game too. Especially if Matt Fink plays well. Like I said, if not, this game turns to shit. I will switch over to Notre Dame of Virginia and I'll just change everything as I can. Ole Miss was, yeah, no. Ole Miss is going to get killed by Bama. Okay, cool. But yeah, again, if this game goes to shit, which I'm hoping it doesn't. Yeah, it should be very interesting. Matt Fink might be actually better than I think. Like I said, if this game somehow turns to a blowout either way, I'll switch over to uh, Virginia and Notre Dame. Big game tonight. Yeah, but I think Ohio State's going to beat Nebraska. I, that's a terrible Sunday night. They should have made this game or Notre Dame and Virginia the night game. I've actually seen this stadium, guys. I drove right by this stadium. I think he's got tinfoil in his ears. The sideline reporter. What the fuck? Okay. I've actually been by this stadium, guys. Uh, when I visited uh, my family in Washington 2015, me and my dad drove by this stadium. It's so it's a, such a nice football stadium. Husky Stadium. It, it's so beautiful. Wow, North Carolina already scored against Clemson? Yes, it's in Seattle. Yep. Yep, University of Washington. And then you got University of Washington, Seattle. Which is not this one. I do not drive, Nathaniel. I was just saying. I said me and my dad drove by it. Not I did. All right, guys. So here we go. Looks like USC will get the ball first. Uh, let's pull up their... Wait, what the heck happened? Okay. So, Matt Fink and the USC Trojans offense would take over first. Looks like a... Looks like everybody in Washington flips their hat like this when there's a kickoff. So, number one, deep to return for USC. That is Velas Jones Jr. What's up, Von Herc? How's it going, bro? And here we go. Kickoff underway. Jones and that one go through the back of the end zone and USC. Oh shit. Whoops. That's not what I wanted to do. All right, so here we go. USC would take over. First and 10 from their own 25 yard line. Matt Fink, third string quarterback last week against Utah. 351, three touchdowns and a pick. What car do you have? Um, I have a 
Ford. We have a Ford and a Toyota. No, and a uh, what do we have? And a Chevy. Ford and a Chevy. All right, so here we go. First and ten, Matt Fink out of the shotgun. Ball snap, handoff to number 25. He goes to the left for about a gain of two. That is, let's see, number 25. Oh, let's see. Let's show it right here. Oh, no, number, that was, uh, yeah, that was uh, Valve Malpue, I think is his name. Is that even a running back in the backfield? Yeah, that is. Valpue. So that's going to be a fun name to say this whole game. Goddamn. Second and eight. Ball snap. Play action. Fink drops back. Looking. Getting pressure. Go to his right. Pass is complete to the tight end. Number 84. We're about a gain of five. It'll be third down. That is number 84. Eric Chromico. Oh, God damn. What is with these USC names? Eric Chrome Enoko. God damn. What is this is not clickbait. This is live reaction to the USC and Washington game, my dude. Alright, third and four. Matt Fink by himself in the shotgun. Ball snap. Matt Fink looking to the left. He is going to complete it for a first down to number 29. That is the running back. I gotta keep saying his name so I can fucking get it right. Malapai. That is the first down to the running back. Malapai. Misleading thumbnail. What do you mean a misleading thumbnail? The thumbnail is literally this. How is that a misleading thumbnail? For real, in what way? I've literally not seen him showing the game. It's not clickbait. First and ten ball snap from the 36. Pass is completed number eight, and he'll get about seven or eight yards off the wide receiver's screen. That is. Almar St. Brown. Oh, I wonder if he's related to uh, Aquarius St. Brown. And it looks like he's off with an injury. But this is no way in shape and form clickbait. I am doing my live reaction play by play. Put your face in the thumbnail. Why would I need to put my face in the thumbnail? I do not need to do that. Go look at other thumbnails, dude. Nobody has their face in the thumbnail. Second and two ball snap. Hand off to Malapai. Up the middle. Chugging. First down and more. And he'll get to about the 47-yard line of Washington for a first down USC. Go to any other channel and you're not going to see their face in the thing. That's weird. But welcome on in, man. If You're, you're more, more than welcome to stay and listen on in to the broadcast. You're more than welcome to stay on in. I'm your radio, radio broadcaster for the game. So here we go. First down and 10. Washington, uh, USC from the Washington 47. Ball snap. Play action. Fink rolling to his right. Going down the right side. And that is incomplete. So it'll be second down and 10. Pass intended for number 21, Tyler Vons. Exactly. This is like a radio broadcast with, you know, an actual score and my camera. What's up, Bobby? Sorry, I didn't see you. Other What's up, Bobby? How's it going? Look, if you want to play by my stick around. Exactly, Daniel. Alright, second and ten. Ball snap. Fink drops back. Looking, going to the right. Pass is caught by number eight. That is, uh, oh, what's, let's see. That is, um, yeah, St. Brown for the, for about a game, about seven on the play. You know Tyler Vaughn's? I remember reading him in a draft club. There you go. Nice, man. Yeah, I just got to get used to these numbers. I'll have this down by the second half. All right, third and five. 11 40 left to go in the first quarter. Fink out of the shotgun by himself. Ball snap. Fink looks to the left. Throws over the middle. Incomplete. Broken up by number 19, Gordon. And that will bring up fourth down and a punt for USC. Unless they go for it. Nope. Fourth down and USC will be punting. This game is on Fox. Yep, it is on Fox. Yep. So good coverage by number 19, Gordon, on uh, by Washington. Brings up a fourth down and on is the punter for USC. Number two, Aaron Fuller back deep to return for Washington. 
Punts off, almost blocked. And the punt will be fielded and fair catch for at the 18-yard line. And that's where Washington will take over first and 10. So Jacob Eason will take over with the Washington offense. I was in Louisville for a lot of the life. That was amazing. Nice. That's what's up, Fiend. Clemson missed the field goal. Not a good stop for Clemson. Yikes. What are you laughing for, King? Wow, Clemson missed a field goal. That's tough. So, guys, again, tomorrow morning at 10 o'clock, I will be live for Colts and Raiders. I'm doing that game because it's a game that's on locally for me. What's up, Nick? What's up, Roach? You're just heading to work. Have a great stream. Appreciate that, Sicarno. Appreciate you stopping by. What's up, Nick Howard? How's it going, my dude? <laughs> Fuck you, Nick. <laughs> Have a good day at work, sir. God damn, I thought enough with King saying that. Now Nick does. <laughs> well, what's up, Nick? How's it going, my friend? Hey, Nick, did you have a good sleep with Eddie in Discord last night? <laughs> what the hell, bro? Why did Jerry just, like, at me at, on... Oh, never mind. That's the only league. Never mind. I thought he at me in a circuit league. He at me in our other league. Going to try. I'll talk to y'all later. Sounds good, sir. Eddie ended up sleeping with Sean last night. Whoa. Wait, what, King? Dude. Fucking Nick. When, when uh, King sent that clip, bro, I was dying, man. Wait, was like Sean in the Discord last night after I got off or something and he fell asleep? 7 nothing Virginia? Oh, shit. Touchdown Ole Miss. Wow. And he was getting passed around like a blunt. God damn, King. Wow, Sean fell asleep in Discord. That's tough, bro. Wow. <laughs> that That's tough. That's right. Jacob Eason was at Georgia, too. I forgot about that. He was their starter until he got hurt and then Fromm took over. He was snoring. Wow. All right, so here we go. First down and 10, Washington from the USC 18. Ball snap, handoff to number 26, a toss to the left. He'll get about four or five yards. That is number 26, Salvin Ahmed. What's up, Colby? He was talking. Yeah, he was talking then out. <laughs> Sean was sleeping with Doug. I have a game of credit. No, I'm going to do OSU and TT and you. What's TTUN? All right, second to five ball snap. Easton drops back. Looking, going to the right. Pass the cop by number two. And that would be a first down for Washington. That is number two, Aaron Fowler for the first down. Hurry up offense by Washington. First and 10 at the 38-yard line. Ball snap, handoff to Ahmed, and he'll get about a gain of a yard. Oh, Ohio State and Michigan? Well, if I'm free. I mean, that's a long time. So, yeah, if I'm free, I'll definitely probably do an Ohio State and Michigan game. About to watch cards. Oh, cards here. All right, second and eight. Ball at the 39 of Washington Eason and the shotgun by himself. Ball snap. Eason drops back. Looking, going to middle. Passes caught by number five. And he'll get about a gain of about six yards. That's number five, Andre Bakula. So it'll be third down and short upcoming for Washington. And team up north, I sort of say the bitches in blue. God damn, Nick. But yeah, I'll be down to do that game if I have nothing planned that day for sure. 
So third down and short upcoming for Washington. Easton on the center, third and two, ball snap, handoff. Up straight ahead is the running back, and he looks like he may have gotten the first down. That is number 28, Richard Newton. And he did get enough for the first down. UNC up 7 nothing. Well, yes, Niners are on a bye week, Colby. Does Bosa have a sack this year? He does, Chris, in your... He only has one sack, but he lead, he's second in the league behind Miles Garrett and quarterback pressures. Ball snap, play action. Easton getting rushed. Roaster's right, dumps it off to the running back, but he overthrows him. That was on mid. Second down. Hello, it's your boy, Roacher. What's up, Mike Growth? How's it going? Welcome on into the stream. What game am I calling tomorrow? I am calling... Uh, Raiders and Colts because that's the local game on here Yeah, I saw that Von Herc. You guys lost to Arizona State. I was kind of shocked about that. Oh Yeah, Chris and you're Nick Bosa if he stays healthy He's a beast. He's gonna be a beast man He could definitely be just like his brother. All right second and ten for Washington ball snap Easton looking to his left pass is overthrown for Fuller and that will be third down well, third and 10 upcoming for Washington. 8.27 left to go here in the first quarter. But yeah, Nick Bosa, I'm so hyped for him. He's going to be 100% ready to go next for, uh, next Monday. And it's going to be great. It's going to be great. So here we go. Third down and 10. Ball at the Washington 48-yard line. Ball snap. Easton drops back. Getting pressured. Got to roll to his left. He's going to still roll to his left. Nowhere to go, and he will go down. Sacked by number 24 of USC, and that will be fourth down and a punt upcoming for Washington. So good hold by USC's defense. Nikki Bosa. How come you're not rolling loud, Bay Area? What? How come you're you are not... At rolling, rolling loud. I don't even know what that is, Mike. I don't know what that is. All right, punt off. Fair catch for at the 15 yard line, but number eight of USC, and that's where they would take over first and ten. Well, Matt Fink and the Trojans offense comes back out. Oh, it's a music. It's the best music festival. Um, well, I'm two hours out from the Bay Area, and I'm just not a huge music fan. I don't mind it. USC is 2 and one Chris Senor. It's a big-ass rap hip-hop concert with probably almost 100. Oh, that's what's up. That's awesome. And it's in, I'm guessing it's in, S, it's in SF. I'm guessing it's in SF. Is that a Hippie Hill or something, King? Who will win, Washington State or Utah? I'm going to say Utah. I was actually going to do that game tonight, but I don't know. We'll see. Washington State isn't even ranked anymore. I'm going to say Utah wins that game. And I was going to do A's and Mariners. What's up, MH? But I don't know. I know Sir Cardinal wants to do a stream tonight. So I, I don't know if I'm doing A's and Mariners. Oh, it's by Oracle Arena. Oh, shit. Okay. Must be in the parking lot or something then. Yeah, they were. But Von Hook, I think you guys, I mean, Texas A&M is 3-2, and, and they're still in the top 25. So, um, you guys should stay in the top 25 as well because that's your first loss. How about them Giants? Bruce Bochy on his way out. Yeah, MH, tomorrow's the last game. Uh, I'm doing Colts and Raiders, and I'm, I'm going to kill my stream right after the game ends so I can f watch that Giants and Dodger game. Yes, it has, Chris, and you're at Chase Center in San Francisco. It has opened up. Yep. That's where the uh, Warriors are playing this year. UNC still up 7 nothing. Wow. Welcome back, Daniel. 
Nope, still no score. Both offenses had a chance to score, but both had a punt. Oh, look at that husky that came out. Ah, oh, such a beautiful dog. I'd love to get a husky. Do you think the Niners will beat the Browns? I do. Crazy. I do think we'll beat the Browns. Wow, look at that. They have a windy store in the middle of a lake by uh, Washington Husky Stadium. There's literally a Wendy's on a boat in the middle of the lake. But yes, I do think we can beat the Browns. Absolutely. We'll see how they look in Cleveland. I mean, in Baltimore. All right, so here we go. First and 10. Ball at the 15-yard line. Matt Feek will hand off to number 7 to get to the right. He will chug his way for about 5 yards. That is number 7, Steven Carr. What's up, Damian Strada? I might go to a game in SF, maybe at the Raptors play. Nice, Chris Senora. That's what's up, man. That's what's up. Who is the Niners toughest matchup this season? Probably the Rams or the Saints. All right, so here we go. Second and five. Fink in, in the shotgun. Ball snap, drops back. He's going to get pressured. He's going to look, dump it off to number... I can't see that number. Number nine, number eight. That is St. Brown for about a gain of three. Third down upcoming for... USC. 6.54 left to go here in the first quarter. Well, I think Breeze is going to be back by the time we face him, crazy. I think that he's going to be back. But if not, then it's definitely the same. So here we go. Third and two for USC. Ball at the 23 yard line. Ball snap. Play action. Rolling to his right is Fink. Looking, getting chased. And he will go down. Sacked by number 30 of Washington. And I will bring a fourth down. Nine new with the sack on Fink. And USC will have to punt. So good defense there by Washington. Who uh, who are they facing next week, Von Hook? You don't yeah, exactly, Fiend. That's interesting. I love it, Damien. It'd be great to see him on that show. I'd love it. I, and it looks like they're going to offer him the it, too. So that'll be fun. All right, punt off by number 24. Out of the end zone, not that great of a punt. Filled it at the 49. Up to the 35. And tackled down at the USC 34. Good return by Fuller. And Calif uh, California. Washington will have great, great field possession to when they start this possession 542 left to go here in the first quarter. So not a great punt. You think he can cover fast enough? I thought he was out for the rest of the season. He broke his collarbone, right? Wait, who are you talking about, crazy? Oh, oh, um, 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 Drew Brees? Nine, no, um, Drew Brees uh, injured a ligament in his thumb. So he's out. he was out, I think, six to eight weeks. Yes, King. It looks like we're going to be flexing the Sunday Night Football Week 6. Yeah, it looks like we might have back-to-back -back, uh, primetime games. Because that, that uh, Sunday Night game is Steelers and Chargers. Nobody wants to see that game. Chargers should easily win that game. So, yeah, it looks like we might get flexing the Sunday Night Football. Uh, um, Nick Foles did crazy. Nick Foles did. Yeah, Landon, keep giving us updates for as many games as you're watching, man. I want to know updates about, yeah, I want to know updates about the Clemson game. I mean, they're going to keep it close to UNC. And keep me updated in the Notre Dame game, too. Yeah, that was Foles crazy. Yeah, King, dude, that would be so good, man. Have back-to-back primetime games. Monday Night Football and Sunday Night Football would be great. That should be a good matchup. If we win and the Rams win, two undefeated teams. Oh, no, that's not good. I mean, they still got Jerry Judy. Uh, Nathaniel, I think he could win it if the 49ers get to the playoffs or he plays really good. The 49ers get to the playoffs, I think Jimmy G will win Comeback Player of the Year and 
Kyle Shanahan will win Coach of the Year. How long do you think we stay undefeated? Uh, maybe until that Rams game. I don't know if we can beat the Rams in L.A. Maybe in Santa Clara, but not in L.A. But I think we'll beat the Browns next week. Especially if they play like crap against Baltimore this week. Virginia 7, Notre Dame 7. Nice. Yeah, they definitely might. For sure. Damien, that's why they're thinking about... That's why they're thinking about uh, flexing that game. Remember last year, 49ers and Rams played on Sunday Night Football and I got flexed for an even shittier game. I got flexed for KC and Bengals and KC won like 45 to 10. All right, so here we go. First and 10 for Washington. Ball snap. Hand off to number six to the left. Good blocking. He's got a lot of room and he's out of bounds at the 16-yard line. Good run by number six. Make flat make Carter of Washington, and that would be a first down. That is Chico McClatcher. What a name! So good run on the end around by McClatcher. That's a first down. First and ten. What's up, Bison Vlogs? I got you in UNC game. If you're watching, keep watching. I did. All right, so here we go. First and 10. Ball at the USC 17-yard line, 16-yard line. Ball snap. Easton throws over the middle. Passes caught by number one. That is Hunter Bryant for about a gain of about six or seven yards. I don't know what the hell these names are, King. Do you like to play football? I've never played football. Like, I play with my friends once in a while, but I never played it. I wouldn't mind it. So here we go. Second and two. Ball at the eight. Ball snap. Hand off to Ahmed. Ahmed up the middle. Try to get his way down to the three-yard line. First and goal for Washington. 4.35 left to go here in the first quarter. So first and goal for Washington. Seven-seven tie. Another game game. Nice. That would be crazy they lose if Notre Dame loses again. God damn. Penn State beat Maryland 59 to nothing. Jesus Christ. All right. Ball snap. Handoff number 28. And he'll get down to the one. It'll be second and goal from the one for Washington. That is uh, Richard Newton. For second and goal from the one for the Huskies. All right, here we go. Ball snap. Handoff near and up the middle for Washington Huskies. Touchdown. One yard touchdown run by Richard Newton. And the Huskies take the lead. They strike first. There is a flag. However, there is a flag. Yeah, exactly, Von Herk. Neither do I. All right, let's see what the flag is. Okay, so it's after the play. I'm supposed to like misconduct on Washington after the play. All right, 15 yard penalty be added to the kickoff. So extra point pending for Washington. I make it a seven nothing game. So Richard Newton, the freshman running back, gets the touchdown for Washington. Kicker, number 47, on for the extra point. It is up. It is perfect. And Washington with a 7-0 lead over USC. So, good drive by Washington, leading to the one-yard rushing score by Newton. I don't want to see the Bengals as the Steelers on Monday night. Honestly, that could be a good game, Nathaniel. Actually, it could be a very good game. Starting off slow. Wow. UNC up seven nothing. Wow.
John Ross is going up. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I think the Bengals will win that game. I just, I trust the Bengals def offense a lot more than the Steelers offense right now. But that, I think that would be a high scoring shootout for sure, though. I did, Iverson. And I hope he gets red zone targets because Crazy Mofo has Austin Eckler. So hopefully he gets the red zone looks. So guys, my next two live streams, I might do a game tonight. I'm going to see what, if Sir Con if Sir Connor's going live tonight, I won't. But I might do A's and Mariners tonight. So I'm I might I might do that game we'll see. But um, I'll be live tomorrow for Colts and Raiders. Actually, yeah, I think I'm doing. Let me see what games are on tomorrow morning. Oh yeah, no, I'm doing Colts Raiders because the other game for me is Buccaneers and Rams. Yeah, so I'll be live tomorrow for Raiders and Colts. And then, ladies and gentlemen, unless the Brewers and Cardinals tie and go to a game 163 Monday. That happens, I'll do that game. But if not, then I will be live Tuesday, maybe Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, all next week for playoffs. For baseball, I will be trying to do as many baseball playoff games as I can over the next month until the World Series. Yeah, the, I'm supposed to like the taunting penalty was on the left tackle by Washington. So this kickoff should easily be taken back by USC. Wow, Washington is outscoring opponents 70 to three in the first quarter this year. All right, kickoff underway. Ball will be fielded at the 10 to the 20 to the 30. And to the 35. Good return. By, uh, let's see, who's that? By uh, Jones Jr. And USC would take over first and 10 at their own 35-yard line. Is Adams okay? I think he is, Iverson. He's got turf toe, but it sounds like he might not even miss time. Yes, yeah, let's hope for it, Von Hurt. So here we go. First and 10, USC. At their own 35-yard line. Ball is snapped. Handoff to the running back, number 30. And he'll get about three, two or three yards. Uh, USC doesn't have play uh, names on the jerseys. That's number 30, Marquise Steep. Or Step. So second and eight upcoming for USC. Alright, sounds good, Fiend. Dolphins can't pee against other... Nah, I agree with that, Von Erich. Alright, second and eight. Malapai back in the backfield. To Fink's right, getting some, making some adjustments. Five seconds to go on the play clock. Two seconds, one second. And either a timeout or delay a game on USC. Yep, delay a game on USC. We have five yard penalty. Cowboys will finally get their first loss. Ah, uh, we'll see, Damien. I hope they do, but I don't know. So now second and thirteen for USC. After the delay of game. A ball snap. Fink drops back. Going over the middle, and it's intercepted! Intercepted by Washington, taking it back to about the 37-yard line. So, you are Washington with the interception by number 16, and they'll take over in USC territory. Fink just overthrowing his target over the middle, and USC off the interception by Cameron Williams. Williams. Washington would take over first and ten in USC territory. 
brought Clemson's down to USC nearing in the first quarter. Yes, yeah, I've been hearing about that, Connor Burke. That's crazy, bro. So Fink overthrowing his target right to Cameron Williams for the pick. And again, guys, if this game gets out of hand, I will be switching over to Notre Dame in Virginia. If this game gets out of hand. All right, first and 10. Ball snap, Easton handoff to Newton. Newton will get about five yards. Second down. Second interception of the year for Cameron Williams. Yeah, it's crazy, Landon. So second and four for Washington. Ball at the USC 32-yard line. Eason out of the shotgun. Running back to his right. Fuller in motion to the left. Ball snap. Eason drops back, looking to his left. He'll throw it, and that is Kapot to Fuller. Breaks the tackle, gets down around the nine-yard line. It will be first and goal, Washington. Gain of 23 on the play. Pork chops, nice. Daniel, that's what's up, bro. So first and goal for Washington. Minute and 11 to go here in the first quarter. Easton out of the shotgun. Ball snap. Her, an option to the right. Toss to Amid. And Amid will get about three yards on the toss. Be second and goal. 50 seconds left to go here in the first quarter. So second and goal. What did you have for lunch? I had some just chicken nuggets. All right, Easton back on the center. New in, uh, a man in the backfield. Ball snap. Hand off a mid. Straight up the middle. He will chug. And the ball's out. Fumble in the end zone. And it's picked up by Washington for a touchdown. Picked up by the... Actually, I don't know if they... Yeah, that's a touchdown. Fumble picked up by Washington in the end zone. And that will be ruled a touchdown for the Huskies. Uh, that's a touchdown recovered by the right receiver, Andre Bacchiale. That was fumbled by Ahmed into the end zone, but picked up by Washington for the touchdown. Uh, for lunch, Zion, not for breakfast, dude. For lunch. Touchdown on the name. Nice. So Washington with the extra point penny looking to go up 14. Kick is up. It is good. And Washington has a 14-0 lead early here on USC. Wow, 14. Yeah, I might switch to that game, guys, if this uh this game gets out of hand. What's up, Rob? But we'll see. That might be too much work to switch all my... I'd have to make a quick thumbnail. I'd have to change my tags. I'd have to change my everything. Oh, shit. I just realized. I just realized I I still had um I still had uh Georgia and Notre Dame in my com in my uh description. So kick is off, fielded by Jones at the one, he'll take it, and he will be tackled down at the twenty two yard line. So Wash USC needs to get something going here in a hurry, down fourteen nothing in the first quarter. Dinosaur Nuggets. Fuck off, Zion. Chris Ash is... F I don't know who the hell that is, Rob. I have no idea who the hell that is. So, 
So here we go. First and 10 for USC. Fink out of the shotgun. Running back to his right. Tight end right in front of him. Ball snap. Hand off to the left. Goes Malapai. And he'll break a tackle. Get for a first down and more. Good run by Malapai on first down for USC. Oh, Rutgers head coach? I don't know. We'll see. And ladies and gentlemen, that will be the end of the first quarter. After one from Washington, Huskies have a 14-0 lead on the Trojans. So USC will have the ball first and 10 when we come back, when it comes back from the commercial. What's up, Monster? How's it going, dude? Browns are the best roster in the league. They're just not looking like the team they did at the end of the year last year. It's Baker, man. Baker needs to be better. He's not getting good reads. He's not. He doesn't have good pocket awareness right now. He just, he needs to step up. He definitely might be robbed. If they don't do good this year, Kitchens is definitely one and gone. What's up, Zane? White. Nathaniel, why do you have to say white ranch? Is it like different colored ranches or something? The hell? <laughs> ranch with nuggets. Uh, no. Yeah, exactly. It's barbecue sauce. That's what I have with chicken nuggets. It's barbecue sauce. Yeah, he definitely could be Robin. I think they will. I think the Giants will win that game. Danny Dines, baby. Guys, make sure you guys say a uh, prayer to our Lord and Savior, Danny Dines. Gotta get your prayers up to the church of Danny Dimes, ladies and gentlemen. Our Lord and Savior. New Zizel. Oh my God, Zion. All right, like another commercial for SmackDown. Haha. <laughs> In a corner, one, Ver Notre Dame 14, Virginia 7. Nice. Should have done that game. Oh, well. What is Sir streaming tonight since you said he's going live? I don't know what he is. I'm going to ask him. Because if he doesn't, if he's not going live tonight, I will. But I heard he might do trivia, so I'm not sure. Spicy ketchup? Mike Tomlin should be gone as well. I don't know. We'll see. Adam Gase could be one of Jen. I don't know. I don't know about that. It was supposed to be turning on... Smash on this Friday. There you go. Danny Nichols. G yeah, I agree, Daniel. Gase has never been a good coach. He's a good OC, but he's not a good head coach. A new, a new cartoon coming to Fox. Meet the Hearts. Bless the Hearts. A new animated thing coming to Fox. Okay. Do a trivia about Roach. Who would win? I, I don't know. I mean, everybody who we hang out on Discord every night knows me pretty well. So, probably a member of Team Josh Word. Or King. King knows me really well. So, it'd probably be somebody like Josh or King would probably win. Yeah, the ro the roster for the Steelers is not good right now. All right, so there we go. Start of the second quarter. Ball snap. Hand off to Malapai. He'll go up the middle for about a gain of three yards. Be second down. Go to the Angels. Yikes. To ride in gym or Zion Roche. Oh my god. Oh, Bama just scored. They're down 10 7. All 
All right, so here we go. Second and six. Ball at the USC 42-yard line. Ball snap. Play action. Going to the right. Pass is caught by number 21. And that would be a first down. About a gain of eight. First down for USC. That is number 21 is Tyler Vons for the first down. Mickey Calloway. Yeah, I, I, I agree, Rob. I, I think so. First and goal, Clemson. All right, first and 10. 14 minutes left to go here in the second quarter. Fink out of the shotgun. Malapai to his right. Ball snap. Hand off to Malapai to the left. Nothing going. Tries to spin back right. Gets a block by the quarterback, Fink, but he will just get back to the line of scrimmage. So second down, upcoming for USC. Touchdown, Clemson. Wait, why was that? Uh, I was, be honest, Rocha, if you were a football player, would you like? I mean, I would just, I wouldn't care who I'm playing under, man. It wouldn't really matter to me. Doug Peterson is a worser catch coach than Mike Tomlinson. Nice, Damian. Worser. Can the Cowboys beat the Saints? Yes, Mike. I think they will. All right, ball snap. Fink looking, rolling to his left. Nowhere to go, and will throw it out of bounds. Third down upcoming for USC. Guardy room to be a top candidate for the Mets. There you go. That would be a good hire for the Mets. I didn't say that, stupid. Damian Estrada said it, Daniel. All right, so here we go. Third and 10 for USC. Ball at the 50. Fink out of the shotgun. And a false start by USC. USC looking awful right now. God damn it. I should have done the other game. Fuck. Yeah, I know. I'm going to go play tomorrow. I hope he affects Eckler. God damn it, USC. Come on, do something. Get back in this ball game. I want a good game. I'm not trying to call blowout. So third and 15 now for USC after the false start. Ball snap, drop back, Fink, looking, got to step up. He's going to run for it, and he'll get about maybe five yards. Fourth down for USC, and a third punt upcoming. So USC's offense not looking good. I am, Zion. I'm going against Austin Eckler. Crazy Mofo has them in the Sir Crew League. So another punt on coming for USC. Third of the game already. Ball snap. Punt is off. And it will be downed at the five. So good punt. Washington will take over first and ten from their deep in their own territory. 12 23 left to go here in the first half. Worcester is not a word. What, Dan what, Nathaniel? Damn, night. That's what's up, Zion. Yeah, I would really like to get to our college game sometime. That'd be fun. Miami and Eric Sposter. Miami and Eric Spolstra agreed to a long term contract extension. Oh, it is a word? Well, that's that's a worse is a really weird wood. Cuz maybe clean the house. I wouldn't be surprised. Really? I don't know about that. I, I want to get rid of Espeen at all. I mean, he literally built that roster to win the World Series. Yep, Miami does have Butler. 
Miami should have gotten bail. They should have. But they got Butler instead. They signed him. USC, UNC, and Clemson tied at seven. Brother, is it enough to do anything? We paid him 120 mil for nothing. Yeah, I mean, I think you guys will make the playoffs, though. Just won't be anything else. Cubs suck out. Well, I mean, Cubs don't have Rizzo or Bryant right now. Yeah, I know. I won't be doing... I probably won't be doing that AL wildcard game. I have stuff to do on Wednesdays. But I'll be live Tuesday for the NL wildcard game between the Nationals and either the Cardinals or the Brewers. So the Nationals win today or tomorrow. They will have home field advantage in that wild card game. Yep, and just like that, Bama takes the lead, of course. They definitely could, Rob. I've heard about that rumor. I've also heard that Boston's looking to get rid of Mookie. Who wins the Central? I'm going to say the Cardinals. I'm going to say the Cardinals win. That, I mean, they have the, they have it for, all right, here we go. First and 10 up the middle goes Amid, and he will break the tackles, get a first down and more, but penalty flags fly. It should be coming back. Good run by Amid, but this will be coming back. Yep. Last night I saw that Von Herc. Oh, absolutely. Zion. Absolutely. So, this will be coming back. Looks like a holding on Washington. Two fouls on play. Illegal block in the back. That apparently is a decline. Holding on the... On number 75, so that one would be enforced half a distance. So it'll be first and probably about 15. It's a very grill, very critical. I agree, Rob. Wait, what was that, Iverson? Do you see Jalen Brown shake his head? I did not. <laughs> well, that, that would be awful, Damien, for a cut fan. So it'll be first and 12 after the horny penalty. Easton on the center. Both snap. Hand off amid. Up the middle. And he goes nowhere. Hit behind the line of scrimmage for a loss. Now that's that scene number 25. Mick grew. And he is hit behind the line. It'll be about second and 13 for Washington. Deep in their own territory. Yeah. I, I can see that, Rob. Virginia quarterback, to, uh, nice. Wayne Wright should be re-signed re too. We'll see. He's old though. So second and twelve. Easton under center. Ball snap, handoff to a mid and wash and USC once again stuffs at the line of scrimmage, and it will be third and long. That was new in on the run. It will be third down and long for Washington. Well, Brady, get, didn't he just get another one or restructure one? He will eventually. It could be, Rob, and that would fucking suck, man. All right, Nathaniel. That is true, sir. That whole pitching stats been pretty good. So, third and 11 for Washington. Easton out of his own end zone. Empty set. Three to his right, two to his left. And looks like Washington's got to call a timeout. All right, Washington takes the delay a game. I guess that's smart. I mean, you're already backed up to your own three. Take the delay a game. You only get backed up a yard. Instead of waste of timeout. 10-33 left to go in the half. Washington up 14. Third 
Third and 13 I'm coming for Washington. Easton out of the shotgun. Running back to his right. Ball snap. Just back. Getting pressure. Looking to the right. Pass is incomplete. And that will be fourth down and a punt are coming for Washington. Good coverage there by USC. Intended target was Fuller. But that brings up fourth down and a Washington punt up coming out of their own end zone. Jesus Christ, McKeegan. Yeah, Niners, baby. Hell yeah, man. Hell yeah. Are the best team in the 2010s? You can say so. Definitely, man. I would say so. I mean, we had three world titles in the 2010s. Absolutely. All right. Ball snap. Punt is off. And it's a terrible one. Failed it at the 45. St. Brown's got it. And he'll get down at the 39 of Washington. So, USC, a really good chance to get back into this ball game. They'll have first and 10 at the Washington 39. 9.55 left to go in the second quarter. But yeah, I'd have to say yes, Zion. Well, the only team that won three World Series in that year in the 2010s. Can't really argue. I mean, I guess you're going to argue Boston. They won twice. But they've had bad years as well, though. Yeah, exactly, Zion. I'm trying to think if there's any. I mean, you can say the Dodgers, too, even though they didn't win. I guess you could say the Dodgers, even though, you know, they made the playoffs 2012 through 2019. No, they made it in 2011. 2011 through 20... No, they didn't make the playoffs in 2012. We did. They made the playoffs in 2011 and then 2013 to 2019. Going to be worse seeing Boji gone for the Giants. I agree, man. It's going to suck. Hell yeah, we were, Von Hook. Hell yeah, we were. But yeah, man. It's going to be so weird, man. I'm not looking forward to tomorrow being his last game. You guys forgot the Marlins. Yeah, man. I, how could I forget the Marlins? They won like four World Series this decade. How can I forget them? Dude, Jalen Hurts, man. He's been unbelievable so far this year. After, you know, not looking good the last two years. I don't know what Lee and Riley does, but man, does he look great. Definitely look like a Heisman candidate so far. Well, honestly, Jalen Hurts has potential just because he's so good. With running the ball. I mean, he has potential. He could be a Kyler Murray. Alright, so here we go. First and 10 USC. From the Washington 39-yard line. There we go. Matt Fink out of the shotgun. Running back to his left. Ball snap. Looking, and he's going to take off. Quarterback draw up the middle. And he'll get about a gain of seven yards on the play. Good first down run by Fink, the quarterback. We've seen we've seen the Cardinals in number play in our run. Three ships. We had Barry Bonds. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. 2002, we beat them in the NLC NLCS. And we beat them in the NLCS in 2012 and 2014. Second and five for USC. Ball at the 34-yard line of Washington. Ball snap. Hand off to number seven, and he will get tackled in the backfield for a loss. Good play by number five, Bryant of Washington, to tackle him in the backfield. Be third down. That is number seven, Stephon Car Carr. Stephen Carr. Hurts could be a Raider next year. We'll see. <laughs> uh, fiction. All right, third and seven. 
Ball snap, Fink drops back, looking to the right, and the pass is incomplete. I don't know what the hell that play call was. What are you doing? It's fourth and seven, and you throw it five yards on a slant to the corner? Terrible play call by URC. Fourth down, looks like they're going to go for it. Come on, man. Let's go, USC. Get something going. I mean, I want Washington to win, but I want a damn good game. So, fourth and seven for USC. Ball snap. Fink looks over the middle. Pass is caught. And enough for the first down. Yep, here will be, be enough for the first down. That is St. Brown on the reception. And a slant for about six yards. And he was tackled over the first down marker. And that will be a first down for USC. Fourth down completion for the Trojans. 8.25 left to go here in the first half. Brady gets more rings in the past. Could possibly be the best team in three decades straight. Yep. First and 10. Ball is snap. Hand off to number 30, and he will go maybe back to the line of scrimmage. The second down upcoming. Number 30, Marquez, Marquise Steep. Step. So second and 10, or second and 11 upcoming for USC. Niners beat the Browns. Go 4 0 play LA. What you think? Ah, uh, yeah. I can agree with that. I agree with that. Second and 11 for USC. Ball at the Washington 29-yard line. Ball snap. Fink looking to his left. He'll go to his left. Pass is caught. Inbounds. By number six. That is Michael Pittman Jr. That name sounds really familiar. And it'll be third down and six for USC. So third and six for USC. Ball snap. Fink. Play action. Throwing to the left. Pass is caught by number eight. Breaks the tackle. And he'll get the first down. St. Brown. Good play. The break of tackle. He was stopped short of the first down. But broke the tackle. And will pick up. Enough yards for a USC first down. Williams tried to tackle him but missed it. Good job by St. Brown. First down Trojans. First and 10. Ball at the 18 of Washington. Ball snap Fink. Hand off to Steep. Steep to the left, and here will get about three yards on the play. Second down, not coming for USC. Six ten left to go in the first half. So here we go. Second and six. Ball at the Washington 14-yard line. Pittman in motion to the right. Ball snap. Throw to Pittman. On the screen. Pittman to the 10. And Pittman down at the 5. First and goal for URC. Good play call. Pittman on the wide receiver screen. And URC will have a first and goal from the 5. Good play by USC. Rocha, I looked at the Niners schedule. I can see you guys starting off 9-1. And, and then cooling off once you play back is Man, that would be crazy, dude. That would be awesome if we started off 9-1. and one. What's up, Kev? Do you, is that you, Kevin? Did you change the name to just Kev? First and goal for USC. Ball at the 5. And a timeout called by the Trojans. Who do you think it is? Oh, I don't know. If I can just change it to Kev. Instead of Kevin Bidwell. What's up, Kevin? How's it going, dude? 
Uh, yes, it is, Zion. Yes, it is. What's up, Kevin? How's it going, dude? So it'll be first and goal for USC after the timeout. Not much. Yeah. Honestly, dude, I don't even know if I'm getting this next card. Not a lot of people are getting it now. It's okay. It's nothing special. I gotta tell my fan. But I really is not think anything special, this new card. It really isn't. You pre-ordered it? Yeah, I so did I, but I mean, I only pre-ordered five bucks for it, so. Yeah, I wouldn't say it's awful. It's just, I don't know, man. Just, like, I like it. It's just not a lot of people are getting it. I might just save that money and use it on a Niner game. Because I'm probably going to be going to the game against the Falcons week 15. Oh, you pre it on PlayStation. Yikes, bro. That's tough. God damn, bro. My monitor is dirty as shit. God damn. Everybody, yeah. I agree, Kev. Everybody just fucking camps, man. IDK, after the Rams... The Niners' toughest opponent are the Seahawks, and they don't play a good team until Green Bay, which is a span of five games. Don't we face Baltimore and and the uh, Saints? Yeah, yeah, we'll see, Kev. I I know a few people who are getting it because they ordered it off of PlayStation Two. Like I know Eddie did, so I don't know. I might end up getting it. We'll see. I'm straight dog shit. God damn, Daniel. Oh, after. Okay. Then, yeah, who knows, man? If we play like this, we definitely could. Yeah, because in that... Wow, we play Green Bay, Baltimore, and New Orleans. Yikes. Okay. So, here we go. First and goal from the five. Fink out of the shotgun. Running back behind him. Ball snap. Hand off to Steep. Steep chugging along. And we're good down to the two. So, I'm going to go from the two for USC. So, yeah. Yeah, I mean, we got Wash. I mean, we got Cleveland coming up, which we can beat. Then we got, you know, NLA. Then we got Seattle. We got ball snap, handoff steep up the middle, and he will go nowhere. Good A job by Washington. Third and goal upcoming for USC. But yeah, because then we face, I know we face Washington too, and they're not that good. And I know we face Arizona, I think, twice in the span of like three weeks or something. Set me up with your friend. Not happening, Cap. She's taken. Clemson is losing, Rocha. Yikes. All right, here we go. Third and goal for Washington. I mean, for USC. Ball snap, Fink. Hand off. No, he keeps it himself. And he'll run it in for the chosen touchdown. Two-yard rush by the quarterback, Fink. And USC is on the board here in the second quarter. Oh, there's a touchdown for USC. Flag on the field. But this might be again after the play. Yep. After the play. Probably a Tawny penalty. By, yeah, by you, the USC quarterback. So that 15 yard penalty be on the kickoff. But that's a touchdown for the Trojans. So 14 to 6 with an extra point pending. Uh, yeah. yeah, dude. Uh, there, him and uh, Sean for the Sports Fairy Kev were streaming on Twitch, and like, yeah, I'm pretty sure they faced Valkyrie, but she was like offline though. She wasn't streaming. All right, extra point upcoming for USC. It's up. It is good. And USC back within seven. It's fourteen to seven, Washington. We could beat the Rams. I think we could, but I don't know, man. Yeah, I think we split with the Rams. I, 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 I don't know. I had us actually getting swept by the Rams, but I don't know. 
I am Cody. I'll be streaming Colts and Raiders tomorrow. Yeah, she is, Kev, but she's probably, she's, she was probably playing offline with a few people. They were playing, like, Zone Wars, which is, a like, a custom game mode. So she was probably just fucking around. Yeah, if we can beat the Browns on Monday Night Football and then Sunday Night Football go in and beat the Rams, I'm going to believe in this team. I mean, I'm already believing in this team, but if we can do that, man... Holy shit. Uh, Daniel, everybody likes Rocky Ray. Oh, never mind. You said, did you kill her? I thought you said, do you, I thought you said, King, do you like her? Yeah, she did kill King. Reich is coach of the year candidate. Definitely good. Yeah, Rocky Ray is definitely a babe. For sure, man. Can is the they can, but I picked the Bengals to win. Dude, she does, Kev. She definitely does look like her, bro. But you wouldn't have a chance with her, Kevin, even if she broke up with my friend. Because she does not like white guys. She's not into white guys whatsoever. So, sorry, Kev. You wouldn't have a chance anyways. Fortnite is dead. Yeah, I would say... Oh, eh, it's okay. Stay cool. It's definitely not as good as it was last year. Yep, sorry, Kev. To her, Kev is Italian. Oh, my God. Just getting to the playoffs... Just get into playoffs and make the 49ers an attractive place for free agents last season. Absolutely, Rob. Absolutely. Damn, Michigan is ranked 20th now. Wow. Whoa, Daniel. I might have to unmod you for that, bro. You better be joking. Or I'm going to have to unmod you. That's tough. I'm at the mod you, Daniel. Fortnite isn't as fun as it used to be, but I don't think it's dead yet. No. I don't think it's dead. Alright, kickoff underway. Ball field at the 20. To the 30. To the 35. Breaks the tackles. Number 25. And he'll get down to the 40. So it'll be first to 10 Washington from their own 40 yard line. Wow, look at that. 14-7 UNC. What do you mean, Daniel? Like, how do you not see it, bro? No. He's not white, Kevin. He's not white, dude. He's Mexican. He's not white. All right, so here we go. First and 10 for Washington. Easton under center. 4 7 left to go here in the first half. Play action. Rolling to his right. Looking. Looking. Getting chased. And he'll just throw it into the ground. And I will be second down. I think he's... Yeah, he's Mexican. I am, Rob. I'm ready for NHL, man. For sure. What's your... I don't know what my favorite movie all the time is, Nathaniel. I have a lot of favorite movies. Yeah, I am too, Van Hook. I cannot wait. Yeah, I saw that, Rob. She's not bad. What are you smoking, Daniel? All right, here we go. Second and 10. Easton out of the shotgun. Empty set. Ball snap. He'll look to the right. Pass is caught by number two, Fuller. Fuller will get about nine yards. or be third and short for Washington. Yeah, I'm ready for NBA too. Stay cool. Yeah, I don't understand how you don't think she's fine, Daniel. Like, fact or fiction? Rocha loses his V-card in 2020? Oh, my God. Probably fiction. 17-10, Bama. Third and one for Washington. Wildcat formation. 
Ahmed would take the handoff out of the Wildcat. And I don't think he got the first down. He got back to the line of scrimmage. Now fourth down for Washington. Good play by the USC defense. Stopping the Wildcat by Washington. Ahmed took the handoff. Went right at the middle and was stuffed. So we'll see if Washington, about the 49 of Washington, will go for it. So fourth and one, Washington and go for it, and they'll call a timeout. The timeout by the Huskies, the first timeout. 2.56 have to go in the first half. Restarting bets on when Roach loses it. Oh, Jesus Christ. We're going to take an over-under how many years it takes. Fuck off! Ah, damn. Jameis wins the stocks? Yep. I thought he would... Fuck off, Daniel. Oh, uh, yeah. I thought Jameis would be good this year, but he's not... Fuck you, Kev. Y'all can fuck off. <laughs> What's up, Daniel? How's it going, bro? <laughs> Apologize, Daniel. What's up, Zach? All right, so fourth and one. <laughs> fourth and one. Another uh, out of the shotgun. Ball's handed off. A mid, and he'll hand off to the receiver. Gets to the right, and he'll get the first down. Another wildcat formation for Washington. This time, a mid hands it off to the wide right receiver in motion. That is number six, and he'll get the first down on fourth and one. That is Chico McClatcher, and he'll get the first down. It's almost been two years since. Oh my god. Yeah, Kev? Wait. Two years since what? When was 2017? Is that. You're talking about Danny? Or. Alright, first and 10. Out of the shotgun is Easton. Ball snap. He will drop back. Looking, going to the middle. Passes complete to number one. Breaks a couple tackles and more. He's out to the right, and he'll go out of bounds. That is number one, Hunter Bryant, the tight end. And he'll get a first down and a lot more. Alexa or Siri? What are you talking about? Alexa? Oh, Alexa. I mean, I don't have an iPhone, so Alexa. Who is Kev Rocha? Kev is one of my in-life friends I've known for a couple of years. All right, first and 10, ball snap, Easton handoff to Newton, and he'll get about maybe two yards on the play. Daniel, I reminded you, bud. <laughs> I've never seen, you've never seen him before? Yeah, he's my in-life friend, my real in-life friend. I've known him for a few years now. All right, second and eight for Washington. Ball at the USC 30, uh, 26 yard line. Easting making some adjustments at the line. Ball is snapped. Play action going to the right pass is caught to Henry, the tight end, and he will get a first down. Bryant, Hunter Bryant, sorry, a tight end, and that's a first down for Washington. I, you hate Call of Duty? I mean, it's just not the same anymore, man. I miss BO1 and BO2. MW3, MW2. Those are the heydays of COD. I miss it. I'm just... Yeah, of course you are, Kev. Alright, first and 10 for Washington. 124 left to go here in the first half. Ball out to 16 of USC. Ball snap, Easton drops back. Looking to the right, pass is complete. 
Nope, incomplete. Fuller caught it, but dropped out of bounds. So second down. The year roaches is... Shut up, King. What do you think of Shai Gellis Alexander and can he win most approved player? Uh, who, who is he on now? He's in uh, OKC, right? I mean, he could. He should be the starter. I believe in Roach. We appreciate that, Kevin. Kev Bo. What? I didn't say that. Second and 10 for Washington. What's up, Nicole? Second and 10. Ball snap. Easton throws it to Fuller on the wide receiver screen. And good play by USC number six. Snuffs out that wide receiver screen. And it's third down for Washington. I should slap you for that name. <laughs> so third down for Washington. Good play by USC defense. Uh, we'll find out here soon, Daniel. KJ Vitty the fuck boy. Third and 11. 50 seconds left to go. Here in the first half. Easton out of the shotgun by himself. Timeout called by Washington. Their second timeout of the half. Excuse me, Patrick. That's tough, dude. Uh, I might be this weekend, Daniel. So we'll see. I might. God damn it, Bama. Fuck Bama. Tua Togolavoya. So wait, Daniel, who do you want? Do you want Tua? Or do you want Justin Herbert? Who do you want? Number one for the Dolphins. You never carry this in shit, King. You want to? Okay. Or from? Ah! I don't know about from, Daniel. No way, man. Not number one. Maybe if you guys go somebody else number one and get from later. I mean, you guys do have three picks. So maybe you can get from in the middle. But from number one, no. It's going to be two or, or Herbert. Probably two. Or. Oh, I wouldn't be shocked if they did, Von Herc. So I'm Nathaniel. All right, third and 11, empty set for Easton. 32 is left. Tudor is right. Ball snap. Looking, going to the right. Pass is caught by number five, but he will be tackled short of the first down marker. Why is USC not calling a timeout? Am I going to really let this run? Wow. So we fourth down for Washington. USC is going to let them run down this clock. Kind of shocked. I did not get carried. Fuck off, King. Well, Trevor Lawrence is next year's draft. Stay cool. 2021's draft. He's not eligible for the draft this year. So Washington would take this clock all the way down and kick a field goal to go up 10 in the second half. So two seconds left. Washington calls a timeout. They would kick a field goal to go up 17-7. Fromm is very good. It's just Georgia is so run heavy. Passes the ball like 15. That is true, Daniel. That is true. But we'll see, man. I think it's going to be two are going number one. Yeah, but Sarah, you guys won't You guys won't be. He's going to be off the board in top 10. I want him too for the Niners. But he's going to go top 10. Nice, Nicole. You would not have Tua. No, caught his ass. So, Peyton Henry, 7 for 7 on field goals this year so far, will be on an attempt, the field goal, to put Washington up 10 going to the half. So, drop fuck out of here, Daniel. Damn Dolphins fan. Imagine being a Dolphins fan. That's tough. Imagine being a Dolphins and a Marlins fan. That's very tough. What was my favorite Nickelodeon show? Probably Drake and Josh. Exactly, King. I like your thinking, bro. <laughs> uh, probably Drake and Josh, Nathaniel. I'm not going to say Jimmy G sucks because I learned my lessons from last time, but watch your mouth, boy. Watch your mouth. You're pushing it, Daniel. You're pushing it, brother. 
Yeah, I agree, Kev. We need to beat them, man. Hell yeah, Drake and Josh was the best, man. I love that show. It's my favorite show. All right, again, Pete and Henry on for the field goal for Washington. 28-yard attempt. Ball snap. It's down, and it is good. And Washington will take a 17-7 uh, lead into the half. And I believe they get the ball, too, to begin the half. So it is 17-7 at the half for Washington. I think, yeah, Jalen Hurd's going to be our red zone go-to guy when he comes back. So I'm so hyped for him. Yep, Tevin Coleman and Jalen Hurd will both be back. So, yeah, I'm hyped. I'm hyped to see what Jalen Hurd's going to do. Which means Kendrick Bourne will probably be either cut, waived, or inactive. Because I think he'll take Kendrick Bourne's place. Yes, I 100% believe he is a franchise quarterback, Daniel. He is absolutely a franchise caliber quarterback. There's no doubt about it. Touchdown, Bammer. Rocha, do you remember the quote from Jacob Josh? I'm too young to die. Yep, of course. Like, he's never done anything amazing. Ah, uh, he has done stuff amazing. He came into San Francisco and took a 1 10 team to go 6 10. He beat the Titans, who made it to the divisional round. And he beat the number one defense that year. And he put up 35 points against them. Daniel. Jimmy G's 11-2 in his career. 9-2 as a 49er. And he's never lost at home. You can't say that's anything good. Like, you can't be a good quarterback and be 11-2. It's not like he gets carried either. Oh, yeah. I like Debo too, Kevin. He's He has the making of a superstar. Because you could put him outside. You could put him inside. You can end around to him. He's looking like a superstar in the making. Papa Nichols, yes. The freaking, yeah, I remember that one. Stay cool. Freaking, he had like PS, PTSD from like the war. Yeah, he's hella fast, man. Yeah, Debo, I, he's great. I like, I like him more than Pettis right now. I really do. I like him more than Pettis. But... I think that pe that touchdown by Pettis would give him huge confidence. So I think we'll see Pettis a lot more now. Yep, must suck, Nicole. <laughs> the defensive line is nasty, dude. The defensive line's. F I mean, here's the deal: Pittsburgh has a great O line, and we destroyed that O line in the second half. Imagine what we're gonna do to the Browns' O line. Their O line is shitty. We can potentially get four or five sacks Monday Night Football against the Browns. Tell me the difference between... Uh, well, Jimmy G wins games. Matthew Stafford doesn't. Jimmy G may not put up the stats, but Jimmy G wins games. Stafford doesn't. I wouldn't say Jimmy G hasn't done something special. Look at his throws, Daniel. Go look at his highlights, bro. He makes throws flat-footed, or side-arming it to a running back or right at the gut. Matthew Stafford can't do that. There's literally a dude in Jimmy G's face, and he can complete it perfectly. You can't tell me that's not something special. Uh, he's led into the playoffs twice, and they got done in the first round. Hurt can be versatile, too. People forget I hurt. Yes. We're going to have Hurd line up in the backfield, at tight end, you know, outside, inside, in the slot. Like, we might not have the names on the offense besides Kittle, Jimmy G, and Brita, and Coleman. But this offense, I think Kyle Shanahan loves what he has on the offense. He had guys who could play on the inside, on the outside, on the line, in the backfield. 
this offense perfectly fits. And this offensive line has been so damn good. Jimmy G has only been sacked, what, twice through the first three weeks? This offensive line is so damn good. And it's so damn good in the run game. Zone blocking. This offense perfectly fits what Kyle Shanahan wants in an offense. The offensive line, the receivers, the tight ends, the running backs. Nick Bosa, Buckner, Ford, Armstead. Yeah, man. And then you got Solomon Thomas and DJ Jones and Sheldon Day who are run stoppers. So not only can the 49ers get to the quarterback, we I think we're only averaging like I think we're only allowing 70 yards on the ground so far through the first three games on defense. While our offense is averaging 160 yards on the ground. Can you guys believe that? The 49ers through three games have averaged 160 yards on the ground. That is fucking crazy. Stafford and Jimmy G have something in common. What is that? Yep, I saw that, Rob. I mean, nobody... Uh, I think our offense can keep up with the pass in the Saints offense, not the Chiefs. But the 49ers, Daniel, have the fourth best offense in the league right now, dude. We're averaging, what, 30, 30 points a game through the first three games? That's the top of the in that's like top five of the NFL right now. Uh, I can see Jimmy G as a, as a Super Bowl quarterback. He's a winner. Like we want to talk about Russell Wilson, he's a winner. We want to talk about Dak, he's a winner. You don't need to be a quarterback as long as you know how to win in this league. Jimmy G does enough in this league to win 49er ball games. That's the thing. Jimmy G's not gonna put up the best stats. But he's gonna put up. He's gonna be good enough to win 49ers a game. Jimmy G has yet to be the reason why we've lost a game when he's been on the center. Then again, we've only lost two games. The first game we lost was against a great Vikings defense, and I blame that on Morris because he fumbled at the goal line. And the second game we lost, Jimmy G couldn't even finish it because he tore his ACL. So I don't even count that as a loss. He should be nine and one. That is true, but we've we've had drives that started deep in our own territory and scored as well. Exactly. And Nick Foles can win a Super Bowl, so can Jimmy G. Because you cannot tell me Nick Foles is better than Jimmy G. If you do, you don't know what you're talking about. Because Nick Foles is not better than Jimmy G. That would be amazing, Fiend. Maybe in a couple of years. But now I worry about the defense for the next few weeks with Thriller Spoon out. We just need to find our second corner right now that can play well. I'm just really, really worried right now. And yes, I agree. Thank you. That's all I, I care about. Wow, 14-14 comes in North Carolina at half. Wow. Jimmy G hasn't made the Pro Bowl yet. Well, he hasn't had the opportunity to. <laughs> Could make it this year. We'll see. But there's just so many good quarterbacks. Browns are overhyped. Ah, uh, they're looking like it. Yeah, man. Go look at the throws he makes under pressure, Daniel. 
Go look at the throws Jimmy G makes under pressure. Jimmy G makes throws flat footed with a man in his face and still make and still throws it and still makes a throw. Uh Daniel. Jimmy G's had one injury in his career. What are you talking about, dude? Like, what do people get this narrative that Jimmy G's injury prone? He's had one injury. Like, what the fuck? You can't call a person injury prone after one injury. Like, that just makes no sense. You literally could not call him injury prone. Now, if he gets hurt this year, yeah, maybe you could. But it was kind of a fluke injury anyway, just the way he got hit. He had an injury, but it wasn't a big one. It kept him out a week. Yeah, he had an injury, but it was only like for a week. Which is not anything to be concerned about. No, I know you didn't, Daniel. Damien did. I said Damien. Like, yeah, if he gets injured this year and it's a big one, then yeah, call him injury prone. But until then, you can't. A shoulder injury that kept him out one week and a torn ACL is not injury prone. A lot of people tore their ACLs and that's the only injury they've ever had. Look at Deshaun Watson. You're going to call him injury prone because he's torn two, two ACLs? One in college, one in football and NFL. I don't see people calling Watson injury prone, and he's torn two ACLs. So what makes Jimmy G train one ACL injury prone? Exactly, King. Like I just don't get it. If you're gonna call Jimmy G injury prone for tearing one ACL, you gotta call Deshaun Watson injury prone for calling tearing two ACLs. Oh my God, Von Hook. I mean, yeah. Look at Brady. He had the one. Brady had one, one torn ACL, and that's it. You're gonna call him injury prone? He's been nicked up here. He's missed a few games with like thumb injuries. You're gonna call him injury prone? An injury is an injury, no matter what. Yeah, and what does that have to do with anything? A lot of players get injured. So what? Like a Drew Brees, he's he's injured now. That doesn't matter. You can't call somebody injury prone after one injury. And that's why Jimmy G's good, Rob. He's had the second best quarterback of all time uh, mentor him. ACL is a bad injury, but it doesn't mean you're injury prone. Injury, somebody being injury prone is when they tore an ACL, they fractured a bone in their body multiple times. You know, they've torn ligaments in other parts of their body. I don't consider somebody who's torn an ACL a couple times injury prone. So ACL is just a bad luck injury. Exactly, Nathaniel. Injury prone is continuously getting injured. Not yet, Daniel, but he's a winner. Look at Dak. He's made the playoffs twice, and he's not in that conversation. Jimmy G, call him what you want to call him. Jimmy G's in, a winner. 11-2 in his career. 9-2 as a starter. For the 49ers, and he's never lost at home. So call him what you want, but Jimmy G's a winner. And if you don't realize that, then you don't know football. Jimmy G's arguably... Jimmy G's had a better start to his career than Dak Prescott has. Dak lost four... Dak, what, played 17 games, 16 games, he lost four. Right now, Jimmy G's played 13 games, he's only lost two. Yeah, but Daniel, in three games, he will have a full 16 games under his belt. And by the way, it's looking like it, he could easily be 14-2 and two in his first 16 games in his career. Like, I don't see it as him doing his full season. I see it once he reaches his 16th game. And with the schedule, he has potential to be 14-2 and two in his first 16 games. Uh, sorry. Uh, 12 and, uh, 13 and 3. 
Lamar Jackson's only started like five games. Jimmy G started 13. And he's only lost two of them. It's completely different than that. Yeah, exactly. I, a lot of people come back perfectly from torn ACLs. He started 10. Well, Jimmy G started 3 more than him. But, I mean, Lamar Jackson hasn't won. He's, what, 7-3 and three maybe? 6-4? and four? He's lost more than twice. Hey, Jaywon Green was at the Michigan State game today. Yeah, I don't. Jimmy G, I don't understand why he gets. I understand if you want to hate on the Niners, but I just don't get why he's like nine and two. Okay, but I mean, you don't see anybody talking about. Oh, we need to see more from Lamar Jackson. You, I've never seen anybody say that about him. Like, Jimmy G gets so much hate for no reason. I understand if you hate on the 49ers. They're one of the most hated franchises. But you don't. You can't hate on Jimmy G. He's done nothing but win in his career. You can't hate on a quarterback who's 11-2. and two. I, I haven't seen anybody say that, Daniel. Yeah, and he's proven he can't. Jimmy G's proven that he can throw. Jimmy G's got one of the best arms in the league. Not, you know, strong arms, but one of the best arms in the league. I mean, people say Jimmy G has a better arm than Tom Brady. Not deep-wise. I mean, Lamar Jackson's proved that he's not that great of a passer. I mean, no offense, but he, the first two games he faced Miami and Arizona, who have worse defenses than Cincy, Pittsburgh, and Tampa. No, I, I'm not saying you hate on the Niners. I I never said he's in the elite category. I'm just saying he's a good quarterback. Now, if he leads us to the playoffs this year, yeah, I'm going to say he's an elite. But I'm not saying he's in the elite category either yet. Yet. I'm just making the argument that he shouldn't be hated on because he's a winner. He's 11-2 and two in his career. And yeah, I guess you could say Lamar Jackson's a winner too then, although he's lost a playoff game. Jimmy G, well, he has yet to start a playoff game. Uh, Well, the way the 49ers are looking, Daniel, his success is bound to happen. Winston's a loser. Yeah, he is. He also sucks. 49ers in a wild card team. Uh, I predicted us to make the wild card a 10 and 6. But we'll see. Man, god damn, this is a long ass halftime. What the fuck? Jesus Christ. Halftime should never last this long. What the fuck? But I mean, Jimmy G's looked better than Trubisky this year. 31 10 bound. Jesus Christ. Why is this half taking so long? I mean, but yeah, if you look at Trubisky, I mean, he hasn't played that well this year. Jimmy G's been better than him this year. But Trubisky also lost five starts or more in his rookie year. He, I don't think he even, he barely has a running record. He's probably like, what, maybe 13 and 8 in his career? Jimmy G's 11 and 2. No, you're good, Daniel. I like debating, man. I love I love debating people on the 49ers and Jimmy G because I know my team better than them. I can argue about Jimmy G all day, and I'll I'll win the conversation 99% of the time. What the fuck? 37, 10, Jesus. Yeah, for real, it's finally coming back for the second half. God damn. Yes, we can, King. And be crazy, man. Bring Derek Carter to Bears. Now nah, I would have Trubisky. I do, King. I love debating about my... That's the problem is... Never get in a debate... 
with somebody else's team unless that team's actually bad. Because you cannot get in debate with the Niners over me because I know the 49ers better than everybody in this chat but King, you know, and Rob. Like, you can't get into an argument about somebody's team unless they're actually bad. Trubisky has had more plays than Jimmy G, but Jimmy G's had better stats and he's looked better than Trubisky. Trubisky has not looked good at all this season. One bit. And yeah, and Nathaniel. Sorry, Nathaniel. Yeah, no, that, that's true. Stay cool. He definitely, I don't blame Trubisky for his rookie year whatsoever. I don't put those losses on him. He had a horrible head coach. But if he can't produce with Nagy, I understand Nagy's play calling has not been good this year, but he's still one of the smartest offensive coaches in the league. If Trubisky can't play good under Matt Nagy, where can he play good at? I just want to see Matt Nagy actually have good play calls, you know? All right, sounds good, Daniel. I'm ready for my Cowboys road trip. We'll see. I picked them to win. Bottom 25? God damn, Daniel. All right, here we go. Finally, second half kickoff underway. Washington will get the ball at the 11 to the 20. 30, 35, and down at the 37. Good return for Washington. And they'll take over first and 10 here in the third quarter. God damn, that was such a long halftime. But I appreciate you guys being in the chat. Make sure you hit that like and sub button if you have it. Uh, that was a great debate, though. I enjoyed that. That kept me entertained during the halftime. So, that was fun. Yeah, I would too, Daniel. I'd put Jimmy G right in the middle of the pack. I agree with 14. Turbiski. Tur Turbiniski is terrible. Who's Turbiniski, Kev? So, here we go. First and 10. Bought the Washington 38-yard line. Ball snap, Easton wide over into the middle as a tight end. And he's into USC territory and more. All the way down to the USC 26-yard line. Great play to open up the half. That is the tight end number 87. That is Cade Oten for the first down. Ball snap, throw to Ahmed as the wide receiver. And he'll get about four yards on the play. Second down. Good start to the second half for Washington. I agree, Von Herk. one nothing. Dodgers mid five already. God damn. Ball snap. Handoff to Ahmed. Ahmed. Ahmed goes up the middle and he'll get a first down. Good drive here by Washington out of the second half. Yeah, I'm high. I'm high on him too, Von Herk. I think he's better than Tua. What food should I get? Chick Fil A. So here we go, first and 10 for Washington. Ball at the 15 of USC. Easton on the center, ball snap. Handoff up the middle, goes a mid again, and he'll get about two yards. Second down. Yeah, no, yes, they didn't get um, Del Taco, Kev. <laughs> Herbert the pervert. Second and eight for USC, uh, for Washington. And that will be a false start on the Huskies. Uh, I don't know, Rob. It's so hard to tell because Hurts was so bad the last few years. But now he's in Lincoln Riley's system. We'll see, man. I hate you. I don't know, Kev. Uh, what about in and out What about Chipotle? God, Chipotle sounds good. All right. Second and 13 ball snap. Throw to the running back. Number 25, McCover. And he will get about one yard. Third down upcoming for Washington. 
That was McGrew. Sorry. Number 25, McGrew, the tight. Uh, yeah. Uh, quarterback. So third and 12 for Washington. Wait, what the hell is this? Roach, I was sleeping, and then I heard my door open, and then I heard footsteps. All right. I'll read that after this. All right. Out of the shotgun by himself. Empty set. Ball snap. Eason looking. Pressure. Throws. Incomplete. Almost intercepted by USC. And I'll be fourth down. And another field goal upcoming for Washington. I was sleeping, and I heard my door open, and then I heard footsteps, and then I felt someone breathing on me. So I woke up and there was no one there. My door was closed. What the fuck, Kevin? That's so fucking weird, bro. Jesus. All right. Peyton Henry on for the field goal. It is up. It is good. And Washington takes a 20-7 to lead here in the third quarter. Nah, that's fucking weird, Kev. It was Sean breathing on him? Fucking king. <laughs> oh, my God. Nate Soulfield? I don't know about that. My house is haunted, yo. That's tough. Maybe it's the ghost of Danny, Kev. <laughs> maybe she's haunting you, even though she's still alive. But maybe she's, maybe she's haunting you. It was Sean, Jesus. It started raining. Nice, stay cool. Yeah, a pretty good day over here. Only 71 degrees out. It was Rocha. Yeah, it was me. I went up to Kevin, breathed on him, and then just dipped. A beast haunting him. Tua would not be good. I yeah, see, I just don't know what to think of Tua right now. Cause he hasn't faced a lot of good teams. And when he did, he got he got benched in the Georgia game in the A SEC championship. And then he lost to Clemson in the championship game. His only good win was against Oklahoma. Shut up, King. Piece of shit. Yeah, two is all right. It's okay. <sighs> wow, what a beautiful campus Washington has. Wow. Hey, I see the highway that me and my dad drove past the stadium on. I see that. Over the lake. Yeah, that's right. Me and my dad went on the bridge over the lake right next to the stadium when we visited Washington. It was awesome. It was Sean's mom. What the fuck? So here we go. Washington with the kickoff. Up uh, twenty to seven now. I want to deal taco. That's tough, Kev. <laughs> You're welcome, buddy. Kick is away. And it will be taken at the five. To the fifteen. Goes Jones to the twenty. Breaks the tackle to the twenty five to the thirty. And he gets tripped up at about the thirty five to thirty four. It's a good return by Jones. And USC would take over at their own thirty four yard line. For the first possession of the second half. Nearest Del Taco. On a bridge. Shut up, Kev. I mean, shut up, King. Sorry, Kev. 50 minutes. God damn, Kev. That's tough. It was bigger, Mike, talking to himself. All right, so here we go. First and 10, USC. Ball at the 34. Ball snap. And nope, that will be a false start on USC. 
False start. Offense number 83. Kevin, it's spelled T-U-F-F. Tough. That's tough. So now first and 15. Ball to 31. Ball snap. Hand off to number 29. I forgot his name. And they'll get about four or five yards. That's Malapai. For about, uh, yeah, for about five yards. Del Taco's really good, say cool. I need to have it more often, dude. I, literally, the only time I ever have Del Taco is when Kev comes over. Second and eight. Number 83 in motion. Ball is snap. Hand off to Malapai again. He'll get to the left and only gain about three yards. It'll be third down and about five for USC. This is some weird-ass city. I mean, Kev literally has a prison. Like, you can see the prison from Kevin's house. Yeah, dude, King. What's up, QC? I did too, King. What is it? When I was a kid, I used to get the burgers too. Yep. You can literally see uh, San Quentin. Isn't it, Kevin? You can see San Quentin from Kevin's house. Yeah, San Quentin. You can literally see it from Kevin's house. It's, it's honestly kind of cool. Not going to lie. Third and five for USC. Ball snap. Quarterback draw, and he will go nowhere. Not a good play on third down for USC. That would bring up fourth down in the punt. Not much, man. Just chilling, calling this game. I might go live again for A's and Mariners later, but I'm not sure. Uh, no, Damien, I think it's fine. I would be cool, but I think it's fine to have it on the debut episode of SmackDown. All right, here we go. Punts off by USC. And a great punt. Fielded at the six. Taken by Fuller to the left. And he'll get to about the 17. So decent. Okay, return. So, Washington would take over at about their own 17-yard line, first and 10. 9.45 left to go in the third quarter. Yes, sir, it does, King. Uh, what's his face is there? Scott Peterson's there. I think uh, I know some uh, some other big dudes there too that I can't remember the name of. Yes, yeah, sir. Stay cool. There's one more big killer out there too at San Quentin. Shut up, King. God, what's the other dude who's at San Quentin? Now that's going to annoy me. Oh, yeah, that's right. The Vincent brothers are there. The two dudes who I think killed their parents with the shotgun. Oh, it was Charles Manson who died. Charles Manson was there. Yeah, I Googled it. Charles Manson was there. That's who it was, but he died. That's right. It was Charles Manson. But yeah, Scott Peterson there. The Vincent brothers. I think they killed their parents with a shotgun, I believe. Maybe not. Maybe that's somebody else. Vincent brothers. Oh, no. They, uh... Got convicted of killing. Oh no, Vincent Brothers. That's okay. No, he's the dude that killed his wife and uh, three children and mother-in-law. I'm thinking of somebody else, but Vincent Brothers. I remember hearing about him. What's up, Miss Ludwig? 
Oh, God, Damien, that'd be fucking awful, man. Nobody wants that shit. That would be the most awful freaking match ever. Sean's mom. Oh, QC, get out of here, bro. God damn. I don't care about this game. Well, I appreciate you being in the stream nonetheless. So there we go, Washington. First and 10 at their own 20. Uh, 18, sorry. Easton on the center. McGrew in the backfield. Ball snap. Handoff goes to McGrew up the middle. Spinning his way out of a tackle and finding his way for about eight or nine yards. So we third and short upcoming for Washington. Second and short. Nice, Miss Ugwood. All right, ball snap, handoff, no play action. Easton, he's going to go deep over the middle. And it's caught. No, it's dropped, incomplete. Wow, number one had it in his possession and then dropped it. That is, I believe, the tight end. Yeah, Bryant. Hunter Bryant had it. It was going to be a great catch, but then he dropped it going to the ground. Got to hold on to that one, man. So third and two now for Washington. 9.03 left to go in the third quarter. Ball snap. Easton draws back, looks, passes complete to Fuller, and that's a first down and more. First down for Washington, but there's a flag down on the play. Looks like it might be on USC. Wow. Roughing the passer on USC. So that would tack on 15 more yards from the end of the run. The founder of the Crips also died in San Quentin. Wow. That would fucking suck, Damien. I would hate that so much, man. That match would be so awful to watch, dude. Yep. Head-to-head -head contact on the quarterback. Yep. Wow. What am I doing for Halloween? Am I going to go to a Halloween party with a couple of my friends? Or stay home and uh, stream the Niner game? Because Niners face the Cardinals on Thursday Night Football on Halloween. So am I going to probably go hang out with friends? Or stream the Niner game? One of the two. So I wonder if this is being reviewed for targeting. Yep, this is being reviewed for targeting. This shouldn't be targeting. I would doubt this would be considered targeting at all. There you go, Miss Ludwig. Hope it goes great. Hope it goes great. Yes, I am, Daniel. I'm doing Colts and Raiders. Okay, so there is no, there is no target on the play, but there will be a personal foul for roughing the passer. That's the right call. What's up, American eighty one? USC get embarrassed on the road. They are so far. Their offense has not gotten anything going. Nice. How far, Miss Ugly? Uh, I could, Daniel. I don't know what, but I could if I stream. Ah, right, fuck out of here, Daniel. But yeah, USC not looking good. Guys, make sure you hit that like and sub button if you have it. Appreciate you guys being in the stream today. All 
I want to rage so hard right now. I'm so pissed. What what happened, Sleeping Angels? All right, here we go. First attempt, ball snap. Play action. Easton looking, rolling to his left. He's going to run for it. And he will pick up about four or five yards. But there's a flag on the play. Might be coming back for holding. Okay, Daniel. Sure. Okay, Daniel. Yep, holding on the offense. So that play we're not called. What's up, C? How's it going, dude? Oh, Notre Dame's playing like shit. What's up, Elias? Yeah, Notre Dame. Yeah, I see they're down by three at half. Yep, right there. Clear holding call. So now it'll be first and 20 for Washington. Should time you out, Daniel. So, first and 20. From their own 30, 42 yard line. Uh, I know she, I know he's doing Sunday Night Football tomorrow, Miss uh, Lugwood. Ball snap. Easton drops back. Lucky going to go deep over the left side, but overthrows his attended target, Fuller, and that will bring up second down. Eddie Panero. Nah, get out of here. Get the fuck out of here, Damien. Yeah, they were. When they had all those good quarterbacks, American 81. You had, you know, Matt Leiner, Carson Palmer, Matt, uh, Mark Sanchez, Sam Darnold. Now well, they had a string of good quarterbacks, man. Second and 20 ball snap. Wide receiver screen and is dropped. That is dropped by Bakula. And it'll be third and 20. Nice, Fiend. I don't know, Miss Lugway. Maybe you're not getting enough sleep. So third and 20 coming from Washington. Two for seven on third down so far. God damn, 38-10, Bama at half, Jesus. Here we go, third and 20, ball snap, Easton drops back. Looking over the right, pass is complete, but well short of the first down marker, that is to Fuller. And fourth down upcoming for Washington. I wake up anywhere between like 9 and 11. <laughs> But on Sundays, they usually get up at 8. So I usually go to bed earlier on Saturday nights. I usually get up early on Sundays and I'll watch some football pregame stuff on NFL Network. Get a stream ready if I have to. Check my fantasy lineups. But usually I'm up, usually about 10 o'clock. Here we go. Ball snap. Punt is away. It will be fair catch. Oh, and bobbled at the 11. So that's where USC would take over. First and 10 at their own 11 yard line. Down 27 with 725 left to go in the third quarter. Uh, Daniel. Football comes on at 10 a.m. for me, dude. Don't forget about that. I'm on West Coast. Football comes on at 10 o'clock for me. So I'm only waiting two hours. Whoops. Yeah, remember, man, I'm on West Coast. I'm from El Paso, so University of Texas El Paso sucks. That's not real football. Yeah, I feel it, bro. Yeah, they have not... I've been like... I actually follow somebody on Twitter who's a UTEP fan, and all I've seen him in the last few years is just, this team fucking sucks. Oh, yeah, that's right, LRL. We, all, we always forget that's early. Yeah, it's, it's at 10 o'clock for me on the West Coast, which I don't mind. I don't mind that one bit because people on the East Coast have to wait till 1 o'clock for football to start. Like tomorrow, 
I'll be doing that Raiders and Colts game, and that's on at 10 a.m. for me. So I'm going to get up at 8, and I'll get ready for the day, get my stream ready to go in the morning, check my fantasy line up, make sure that's good to go. You should move to San Fran. Shit, man. I'm two hours away from San Fran, but I'd come hang out with you, bro. Shit on your Dolphins and your Marlins in person. Sounds good to me. Earlier games, no hurricanes, yeah. <laughs> I was stationed at Greenland for five months, 12 hours ago. I was a Navy SEAL service. Wow. That's what's up, American 81. Appreciate you stopping by the stream, man. Again, guys, make sure you guys hit that like and sub button. Appreciate you guys being here today. Again, I'll be live tomorrow for Raiders and Colts. Ball snap, handoff to number seven to the left for USC. Gets a lot more. He's got room down the sideline to the 30, 40, 50, 40. 30 and out of bounds into Washington Territory. Great one by number seven. That is Stephen Carr. And he will get a huge gain on first down for USC. All the way down to about the Washington 29-yard line ball snap. Throw by Fink is complete to number 21 for about four yards. That is number 21, Tyler Vaughn. 12 years ago. Oh, 12 years ago. Gotcha. Yeah. Yeah, it was a great one by USC. All right, second and five ball snap. Handoff to number 30, and he will get a first down. That is uh, steep on the first down carry, and here comes USC. What's up, Alex? What's up, Nader? I take five storms a year. Oh, what? Oh, earthquakes? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. There's hurricanes all the time. All right, here we go. Ball snap. First and ten. Fink looking over the middle. Passes caught by number 84. And we're going to about a game of five on the play. I hate that USC doesn't have names on the back of the jerseys. That was number 30, 84, Eric Chromico. Yeah, whatever. Long ass last name. Second and four. Ball snap. Play action. Looking. Intercepted. Wow. Threw it right to the defender. Looking for the right receiver in the end zone. But Fink is intercepted at the two. Wow. Not a good throw by Fink as it's picked off. And USC. A second turnover of the game, second interception. Wow. He did not see the defender. Wow, he had number six wide. He had um St. Brown. No, that's not St. Brown. But he had number six wide open in the end zone. That's, uh who is that? Oh, that was Pittman. He had Michael Pittman wide open in the end zone, but did not see the extra defender and threw the pick. Now Washington will take over deep in their own territory after a good drive by USC. What's up, Fred? How's it going, dude? It was a touchdown. It was wide open. There you go, Daniel. <laughs> so there you go. First and 10, Washington at their own four-yard line. Easton in a shotgun. Ball snap out of the end zone. Throw in the middle. Pass is complete. To number 87, Olten, for about a gain of seven. Vernon Davis is a Hall of Famer. Ah, uh, we'll see. I don't know about that. But Frank Gore definitely is. So I get a three ball snap, handoff to Ahmed. To the right now, he's got room. And ladies and gentlemen, he's going to take it 
all the way to the house. Touchdown, Huskies. Wow. 86-yard touchdown run for our man. And the Huskies would go up by 20. Wow. Huge, long touchdown run by Ahmed. And the Huskies will go up. That was about what? Maybe a 88-yard touchdown run by Ahmed. Wow. He had a hole and he was gone. All right, extra point pending. Washington will go up by 20. So not good for USC. Wow, that's a huge, huge uh, play in the game. USC looking to go to get within six. The turnover two plays later and intercepts uh, a uh, long 80-yard touchdown run. Wow. Wow. That, you know what? That was a 90-yard touchdown run. Looked like they were right at the 10. That was a 90-yard touchdown run for Ahmed. Wow. So we're waiting on the extra point. I don't know what's taking so long. No, they didn't touchdown. Nice. Dang, I should have done that game, man. That's all good. It's all Gucci. It's all Gucci and the Gucci. Oh, so wow, Washington going for the two point conversion. Okay, to go up twenty one. Easton out of the shotgun. McGrow in motion. He will toss it to number six, and he will get in the end zone for the two point conversion. That is McCuther. And Washington will go up by 21. 28 to 7, Huskies. So that is a huge turn of events in the game. USC looking to make it a six point game is now down 21. Yep, they will, Von Hart. Damn, I should have done that Notre Dame game. It's all good, though. Should have done that Notre Dame game. It's all good though. I wanted to do a Pac-12 game. I've yet to do a Pac-12 team. So now USC needs a touchdown here to get back in this ball game. Otherwise, this game's over. USC is becoming UTEP in the conference. Yeah. <laughs> God damn it. Why does this keep resetting on me? It's a close. Yeah, man. It's a really good game. It's what? 21-17 Notre Dame? Should have done that game. Well, maybe fourth quarter. If this is a blow in the fourth quarter, maybe I'll just switch over. I'll change my titles. Maybe get a background and some score going up. If this is a blow on the fourth, I might switch over to that game. And I actually, I have my U.S. You know what? Maybe I should get that ready just in case. I actually have my Notre Dame tags from last, uh, yeah, last week against Georgia. So maybe I'll switch over to that game. I'll just implicate these tags and change Georgia to Virginia. We'll see, though. I might just stick to this game even if it's a blowout. Just because it would be a lot to turn the stream over to another game.
Yeah, we'll see. If this game... I might switch over this game. doesn't get any closer. But I'm going to have to switch everything up, though. I'll switch my uh, title. I'll switch my tags. And I'll switch my background. So, short kickoff by Washington. Wow, it almost worked out. USC had a jump for the ball and they got it. It almost worked out. Washington almost recovered the kickoff. But nonetheless, USC will have it. I'm sure he's doing fine, Miss Lugwood. I'm sure he's doing fine. So here we go. USC needs a score. All right, so here we go. First and 10 for our USC at their own 35. Ball is snapped. Fink looks. Nowhere to go. We'll dump it off to his receiver, uh, uh, running back Malapuai. And we'll get about two yards in the play. Uh, I got that just in case. No change. Ball snap, handoff to Valapoi again, and her get maybe one yard, third down. Sorry, guys, it might lag a little bit. I kind of have a lot of tabs open right now. So if it's lagging, let me know, and I'll close my tabs. Yep, it is. I can tell. What's up, Delano? How's it going, dude? Sorry, guys. You might see some lags. I have some. I have a lot of tabs open right now in case I need to switch to this Notre Dame game. So here we go. Third and five. Empty set for Fink. Ball snap. Drops back. Lucky. Go to the right. Pass is complete to Pittman, and he will reach over for the first down. If you haven't already done so, please hit the like. Appreciate that, Delano. What's up, Cincy Bengals fan? So, if USC doesn't score here, I might change this game to Notre Dame and Virginia. Ball snap. Nope. That would be false start. And the lineman mad at Fink. 45-10. Bam it. Goddamn. Uh, Andy Dalton for sure. Alright, let me... Hang on, guys. It might, you guys might be sparing some lag right now. I got uh, some tabs open. I'm trying to download some shit just in case. Why is this not downloading? So, first and 15 now. And tag another five. That's delayed game for USC. Clay Helton is mad. Okay, so USC gets the timeout. So hang on, guys. Again, you might be experiencing some lags. Uh, I have some tabs open right now. So give me one second, just in case I could I can switch to this Notre Dame game. All right, let me know if we're back on, guys. Yep, we're back on. All right, there you go. Sorry, guys, I had a bunch of tabs open. Just in case I uh, want to switch over to the next game, but we should be good now. So first and 15 now for, for in a good run by USC. 
by number seven, and he will fight the way for a first down. Nice job by Stephen Carr to get the first down for USC. Now that's a 15-yard rush in a first down. Yeah, sorry, guys. Well, I downloaded some stuff just in case I want to switch over to Virginia and Notre Dame. So first down and 10 now from the Washington 49. Ball snap, play action. Fink going down. Deep wide open, Pippen. Touchdown, Trojans. Michael Pippen wide open down the left sideline. And that's a touchdown for USC. So now this game is not over yet, ladies and gentlemen. Extra point pending. It will be 28 to 14. There you go. Michael Pittman. Wide open down the left sideline. Extra point is good. And USC back within 14. It is 28 to 14. They are not since he Stanford is. It's a great play. Great throw by Fink. They hit Pittman down the left line, down the left side. Yeah, I can imagine American. Yeah, I'll go to that game if this game continues to be a blowout. But right now we're good. We'll see what USC can do on defense. It's uh, Stanford, Miss Lugwood. So, wow, great throw by Fink to Pittman, who was wide open. And with 2.10 left to go in the third quarter, we have a 28-14 Washington lead. Yeah, we were to begin the year, Von Herk, but then we lost. You know, then we just lost. We're 1-3 now. 44-yard touchdown from Fink to Pittman. All right, so here we go. Kickoff on the way. And that will be fair catch for in the end zone for a touchback. So Washington would take over. First and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Jesus Christ. 40, 45 to 10, Bama. Lord. I cannot wait to stream that Bama and LSU game. Hopefully I don't work that day. That's going to be a great freaking game, man. I cannot wait. So here we go. First and 10 for Washington. Looking to respond to USC's touchdown. Easton on the center. Ball is snapped. Play action. Looking, getting pressured. Throw over the middle is complete to Jones. To Bryant. And Bryant will have enough for a first down. Uh, no, thank you, Cincy. I don't think that's going to be a good game. If I stream tonight, it will probably be for Mariners and A's. First and 10. Toss to the right to Ahmed. Ahmed will get about eight yards on the play. Sec uh, second down coming. Be second and short. Now it's an 89-yard touchdown run for Ahmed. Second longest for Washington since 1994. So second and three. Easton on the center. Two running backs in the backfield. Ball snap. Hands it off. That is Newton. And Newton will get enough for the first down. Out to midfield. One minute to go here in the third quarter. Yeah, same here, Von Herk. Me either. Here we go. Easton on the center on first down. Ball snap. Hand off to Newton, and he will be stepped in the background backfield and loses about two or three yards. 
Good play by USC. They get in the backfield and blow that play up. Yeah, they are, Cincy. That's why I'm not streaming for it. And that could be the last play of the third quarter, ladies and gentlemen. And it will. So, ladies and gentlemen, we will go to the fourth quarter. Washington would take a 28-14 lead with the ball into the fourth quarter. So put your fours up in the chat, ladies and gentlemen. We are going to the fourth. Twins won four to three. Nice. Wow, Clemson going into fourth quarter time 14 14 with UNC. Jesus. Oh, great. Looks like Adam Cole might be hurt. That's great. I want to see Clemson lose. Yeah, I wouldn't mind seeing it. Although, I like Clemson, though. What's up, Cushman? How's it going? Oh, no. For which team? No, Adam Cole is a wrestler. Adam Cole is a wrestler. How's it going, Cushman? So let's see if USC can get a stop and get the ball back to try to get within one possession. You may be going to game one. Yo, that's great, dude. If so, man, have fun, bro. That would be awesome, dude. Well, why is it? Yeah, those games are losing never that good, Von Herc. I agree, man. I don't know, Miss Lagrid. We'll see. We'll see. I mean, those games are never on my TV, so I try to stream what's on my TV. I don't like to watch streams or, you know, MOB.TV. All right, so here we go. Second and 13 from the 46-yard line of Washington. Easton out of the shotgun. Ahmed to his right. Ball is snap. Delayed handoff to Ahmed. Running to the left. He's going to get good yardage. Maybe about seven or eight yards. It'll be third down. Upcoming for Washington. Yes, they are, Cincy. Let's 
So third and six for Washington. USC needs a huge stop. Ball at the USC 47-yard line. Fuller in motion. Ball snap. Easton drops back. He's going to look. He's going to go to the right. Broken up. Good play by USC. And that's fourth down. And that is a huge stop for the Trojans. Fuller was the intended target. Broken up by number nine. That is Greg Johnson. And USC will get the ball down 14. Looking to score to make it a one possession game. So the punt is away. It's a good punt. It will bounce and be down at the two. What a punt by Whitford. Great punt. And Washington downs it at the two. And USC will now have to travel 98 yards to score. Great, great punt by the Washington punter. So USC will look to score. Yo, I want to see if USC, I mean USC, UNC can win this game. That would be crazy. Anyone watching the fight tonight? I am not. I might be streaming A's and Mariners. We'll see if I'm up for it. We shall see. That'll be at, I think, 6 o'clock. So, in less than three hours. But, I don't know. I might just do this. And then, I don't know. We'll see. Because I'll be streaming a shit ton of baseball over the next month. So, we'll see. But again, guys, tomorrow at 10 o'clock Pacific, 1 o'clock Eastern, I will be live for Colts and Raiders. I am a 49ers fan, guys. If you're new in the chat, I'm a San Francisco 49ers fan, but obviously want to buy. So, you know, I'm in the area, so the Oakland game's on for me. I will be doing Colts and Raiders tomorrow. And then starting Tuesday, I will be doing MLB playoffs I'll be streaming Tuesday, probably both games Thursday, both games Friday, both games Saturday. No, next Sunday as well. Maybe I'll do a football game. We'll see to take a break from baseball. Appreciate that, Daniel. You're a Vikings fan. Nice, Miss Lugwood. Let's see. I'll probably stream a football game again next Sunday just because to take a break from baseball. But yes, tomorrow will be Colts and Raiders. So here we go. First and 10 for USC at their own two-yard line. Fourteen oh seven left to go in the ballgame. Ball snap. Handoff. And it will go for about eight yards. I always forget who number seven is. That's Stephen Carr. And it will get about seven yards, second three. I agree. Ball snap. Hand off again to Carr. And he will be dumped in the backfield for about a two-yard loss. Good snuff out by the Washington defense. And it will be third down and five. Upcoming for USC. Touchdown, Clemson, 21-14. Wow. So here we go, third and five. Fink out of the shotgun. Car to his left. Need a huge first down for USC. Ball is snapped. Fink drops back. He's looking down the right line, and it is incomplete. 
I thought there was pass interference on that, but I guess not. Throw was out of bounds, and that is fourth down, and USC will have to punt. Do I hate the Rams? I don't hate them as much as the Seahawks. I'll tell you that. Good coverage by number 22, actually. The fourth down, USC out the punt. 28-17 Notre Dame. Wow, they're already setting up by 11 now. I don't it would depend who we face, Daniel. And the punt will sell out of bounds. Not a great punt. Washington should have good field goal position. Right at the 50. They will take over first and 10. With a chance of pretty much ice this game. 12.57 left to go in the game. So I'm just going to stick with this game, guys. Just going to stick with this game the rest of the way. And maybe I'll do the end of the Notre Dame game and this finishes first. For Crazy Mofos Raiders tomorrow. Ray Lewis or Patrick Willis? Patrick Willis. Sorry, not sorry. But yeah, it would depend who we face, Daniel. It would depend who we face if we can win a playoff game. Twenty-four, twenty-one, Indiana over Michigan State. Wow. Our defense is way better than last year. I love it. You're talking about Notre Dame? Yeah. That's what prevented you guys from beating Bama. Or even having a chance against Bama. Was your defense. Michigan State. Yeah, I know. To freaking Indiana, too. Wow. Yankees may be without Paxton. Yikes. Davis is taking over the second half. Nice. That's what's up. My dad's a Notre Dame fan, Sleeping Angel, so I'm happy when they win. Who's your team, Waku? Oh, you're a Ohio State. Oh, wait. Oh, oh, you're an Oklahoma fan. Nice, dude. That's what's up. Yeah, I see that, Rob. I see the score. I'm tired. I call you a good burger. Good burger was really good. So here we go. First and 10 for Washington. Right at the 50-yard line. Ball snap. No, it's a pitch. And the ball's out. And USC recovers it. Wow. Washington tried to get way too pretty with that play call. It was a pitch to the running back who then pitched it to the receiver. And Fuller fumbled it. Washington got way too cute with that play call. And USC would take over in Washington territory. Washington just got way too cute with that play calling. What's up, Kev? 52 cents, Jesus. Wow. So uh, I'm supposed to like misconduct after the play by USC. So that would bring them back 15 yards, but they now have the ball. It's on Fox, Sleeping Angels. Oh, Iowa and Michigan next week? Nice. <laughs> this is all good. So 
So here we go now. First and ten. USC takes over after the fumble. At the USC, after the penalty, the USC 43-yard line ball snap. Hand off to Malapuai. And he'll chug his way for about five yards. It'll be second down. Thirty-five first down. Game is on twenty. Yeah, it's on channel eight here. All right, here we go. Second and four. Ball snap. Fink looks to the right. He throws it. Pass is caught by Vons and Vons. We're gonna first down, but I think this is gonna be a penalty on USC. So this might be coming back for probably an illegal block in the back. Yeah, pass interference. For blocking downfield. Wow. Wait, pass interference on the offense is 15 yards in college? Wow. And it's... Wow. How much time is left? 12-14 left to go in the ballgame. But a huge penalty now on USC... It's now second and 19 instead of being the first down. Now it's on, well, it's on channel 8 for me, Rob. It's on Comcast, but it's on 40 for everything else. Ball snap, play action, Fink looking, rolling to his right, still looking, and he will just get it away out of bounds. Third down upcoming to 19. Whoa, a flag is in. And that might be for a late hit on the quarterback. All right, so now it'll be a side. Damn it, I was hoping that was an automatic first down. And it's a sideline warning on Washington. Only a warning, no penalty. Yeah, uh, pass interference in the NFL is only 10. So it's a sideline warning on Washington. So third in line for USC. Ball snap, Fink drops back. He's looking, he dumps it off. But to number 83, and here we're getting maybe four yards. I don't understand that play call. I don't know what they did. They didn't say for what for. But it's fourth down for USC, and they have to punt. That may have been their chance to get into the game. So costly, costly penalties by USC. The taunting after the fumble recovery and the pass interference down the field. Yeah, sideline... Uh, I don't know what they do. I thought OPI is only 10 on offense. Isn't offensive pass interference in the, on the offense only 10? So good punt and good coverage by USC. Washington would take over deep in their own territory. With 10.59 left to go in the ballgame. The game's on at Rocha at my house. What's that, scrambled eggs? But I'm not sure. I did not hear what the sideline warning was for. Somebody probably came onto the field. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, so, uh, yeah that's a rule in college football. You get a warning... And then the second time, if somebody steps on the field or something, then it's a 15-yard penalty. But the first time is only a sideline warning. Yeah, so, and in uh, college, it's a 15-yard penalty, OPI, which I think is stupid. And the ball was caught, too. I think that should have been from the spot of the foul. Because they happened, at, uh, you know, right where the ball was caught.
think it should have been 10, 15 from the spot of the foul. Or only been like maybe second and 10. So now Washington really has a chance to seal this game. Yeah, that wouldn't be too bad, Rob. Oh, Avalanche and Ranton and reach a new deal. Six years, 55 mil. Not bad. Bro, why is there not an update for Mario Kart yet, dude? What the fuck? Why is there not a fucking update? Just cooking around so you're alive. I appreciate you stopping by scrambled eggs. So here we go. First and ten. Ball snap. Hand off to Ahmed. And Ahmed will get about eight yards. Second down. Yep, same here, Vaughn. Second and three for Washington. 10.36 left to go here in the ball game. So Easton under center. Ball snap. Hand off to Newton and he slips and falls at the line of scrimmage. Third down. No, that's on mid. Never mind. No, that is Newton. God, 26 28 looks like. So he slips at the line of scrimmage. It'll be third down, not coming for Washington. Oh, there's a touchdown. Trevor Lawrence to T. Higgins for Clemson. Up 21 to 14. Nice. Yeah, I, uh, I'll have my predictions come out with Sir Cardinal Monday, Cushman. But, yeah, I can see that happening. Too bad it isn't hockey. <laughs> yeah, man. All right, so here we go. Empty set, ball snap. Easton looking, getting pressured, breaking a couple tackles, and he will go down. That would be a sack for USC in a fourth down. So USC's defense stepping up here in the second half besides that huge touchdown run. So, USC will get the ball back down 14. Nine ten left to go in the ball game. Punt is up. It's away, almost blocked. It's a great punt. It will be touched down at... Wow, great roll. It keeps rolling, and it will be touched down at the 24-yard line. Great, great punt for Washington. That ball rolled about 10 yards. Hey, I think the Rays are pretty good, Cushman. I mean, that. look at that. Look at that pitching uh, rotation. There you go, first and 10 at their own 24-yard line is USC. Ball snap. Fink drops back, looking to the left. And it's almost intercepted, and that would have been a pick six. Dropped by the Washington defender, and it'll be second down. Not a great throw from Fink. All right, Nathaniel, have a good one, bro. Fink looking down his receiver almost through that pick. Now, I could agree with you, Cushman. 
Second and 10, ball snap. Hand off to Carr. Carr to the left. He's got some room. And he'll get a first down. Good run by Carr. And it's a first down with Notre Dame. 8.38 left to go here in the game. All right, Scrum Raids. Make sure you hit that like button on your way out, bro. Appreciate you just hopping by. First and 10 for USC. Fink out of the shotgun again, of course. Ball is snapped. Play action drops back. Looking, going to the right, and his pass is complete to Vaughn's, and he will have enough for a first down. So USC driving. First and 10. I'd say the Braves are better than the Rays, to be honest. I don't know, actually. First and 10. Ball at the 48. Ball is snapped. Handoff. And a big hole for number 30. He down the sideline. And he's pushed out of bounds. He has a huge hole. Right down the left field sideline by number 30. And USC is into Washington Territory. That was number 30. Who's number 30? Oh, that was Step. That was Step on the nice big run. Balls out to Washington. 17 ball snap. Again to Step up the middle. And they're gain about four yards. Wow, UNC. Holy shit. What's up, Nick? About to tie it up late. Wow. Second and six. Seven minutes to go. Ball snap. Again, hand off to Pope. Up a step up the middle. And here we'll get close to the first down marker. Might be third and short. Inside, seven minutes left to go, ladies and gentlemen. Touchdown here can make this game very interesting. So yeah, first and goal for USC. Ball is at the six. Hand off the step, and here will get to about the four. Maybe five yard line. Second and goal. Wow, one of USC UNC goes for two. We'll see. Six fifteen left to go in the ball game, folks. So USC needs a touchdown. They need a touchdown. Ball is snapped. Fink hands off to Malapai, and he goes nowhere. Third down and goal. Back to the line of scrimmage. So USC has two shots at a touchdown. Here we go, third and goal. Ball snap. Fink drops back looking. He's going to run for it. And he will get maybe two yards down to the three. It'll be fourth and goal. So this is pretty much the ball game. If USC doesn't get this. His game's over. So here we go, fourth and goal for the Trojans. They need a touchdown. Five minutes to go. And a timeout call by the Huskies. Wow, I wonder if UNC can tie that game. So we got fourth and goal, ladies and gentlemen. This is the ball game. 
USC down 14 with 453 left to go. Wow, what the fuck, UNC? Oh, yeah, you know the game breaking it open? Yikes, yep. So here we go, fourth and go, folks. Fourth and go from the two and a half yard line. Fink out of the shotgun again, of course. Malapari to his right. Here we go. Ball is snapped. Fink draws back, looking, corner of the end zone. Incomplete. No flags. And Washington may have just sold this game. Good coverage by number five in the back of the end zone. I don't like that play call. You never throw up a lob to the back of the end zone. On fourth and goal. I would have went for a slant. But ladies and gentlemen, that might be the ball game. With four minutes to go, less than four minutes to go, Washington remains up by 14. Damn, I forgot to change the possession arrow, too. Oh, well. Yeah, I'm down. Touchdown, UNC. Wow. Wow. I'm going to have to turn that game on. Say, fuck this game. I don't care if I... um. Maybe I'll change my uh, title real quick. We'll see. So here we go. First and 10, Washington at their own one yard line. Ball snap, handoff to Ahmed, and here we go for about one. That was Newton, actually. All right, Zach, sounds good. So 420 left to go in the ball game. Washington with a 14-point lead. Second and eight from their own three-yard line. Ball snap, handoff to Amid up the left side. or get about a gain of seven yards. We third down and one. Yeah, I'm excited, Cody. I'm fucking excited, especially for CM Punk. Even if he's just for that TV show. It's going to be great, man. North Carolina's going for two. Whoa, what channel is that game on? Fuck it. I want to look at it. What channel is that game on? All right, cool. Wow, they didn't get it. Wow, they didn't get it. Wow, what was that play call? Wow, UNC didn't get it. That's tough. Wow. Yeah, maybe they should have just went for the extra point. They wanted to win the game. They wanted the upset. Wow. 
Yeah, they just, I guess they wanted to go for the win, obviously. This is it for UNC. Yeah, they got to get the onside kick. And they didn't get it. Wow. Damn, UNC. What an upset that would have been if UNC finished that off. So here we go, third and two. If you're seeking if you are seeking it to stop, it'd be a huge one. Third and two, three fifty left to go in the ball game. Here we go, third and two. Easton on the center. Ball snap, handoff. Off the middle goes on Medities. We're not get there. He will get stopped at the line of scrimmage, and USC will call a timeout and will get the ball back down 14 with 3 minutes and 42 seconds left to go. So good stop by USC. Right up the middle went on man, but he went nowhere. So no more timeouts remaining for USC. Or do we get the ball with three minutes left to go here to try to get within one possession and then try to get an onside kick? All right, so fourth down punter coming for Washington. Yep, almost, but almost doesn't count. <clears throat> Here we go. Punts away in the end zone. It's a line drive punt. Taken at the 40. Good. Uh, special teams coverage by Washington. And USC would take over at about their own 45-yard line. They need a touchdown and an onside kick. They should have just... UNC should have just handed that off. I think he would have scored. I think UNC would have scored had they handed it off. So here we go. First and 10. This is it for USC. Fink in the shotgun. Ball is snapped, drops back, looking, going over the right. It is caught by Vons, and he will have a first down for USC as they hurry to the line. First and 10 now, and an injured, injured player on the field for Washington. There you go. Wow. Okay, Jared. Wow. Okay, we'll see. All right, so here we go. First and 10. Sorry, guys. Somebody sent me a trade on fantasy football. I was looking at it. Here we go. First and 10, USC. Ball snap. Fink drops back. He's going to dump it off to the running back. That is uh, number seven, but he will go absolutely nowhere. Back to the line of scrimmage.
That was Stephen Kai. What's up, Rocha? Angel's got to beat the Astros tonight. How's it going, crazy? All right, here we go. 2.48 left to go in the ball game. Ball snap. Fink drops back. He's going to look. He's going to roll to his right. He's going to throw it out of bounds. Throw it down. They should have kicked a field goal. Yeah, maybe. Cubs might be. Cubs might be shopping John Lester and Mutamini's. I want to be shocked. So third and ten for USC. Wow, now it's by fifteen. Ball snap. Fink drops back. Any pressured, and he will throw it away. That might be intentional grounding. We'll see. He got pressure and he got hit and went down. Threw the ball away, fourth down. So this is the ball game, folks. Just at work, bro. Nice. And Jerry Page sent me a trade in the Sir Crew League. It's interesting. I just don't know. It'd give me another, it'd give me more wide receiver death, though. Here we go, fourth and ten. This is the ball game, folks. Here we go, fourth and ten. Fink drops back, looks to the right, and it's incomplete. But a flag. That would be pass interference on Washington in a first set of downs for USC. So first down for USC. Whoa. Defensive coordinator not happy. He's yelling bullshit. Wow. So here we go. First and 10. Ball snap. Fink drops back. Looking over the middle. Deep. Intercept. Did, and that's the ball game, folks. Third interception again thrown by Fink. Second of the game for Williams. And ladies and gentlemen, Washington is going to win this game. And UNC will most likely fall out of the top 25. Yeah, GG's. GG's UNC. Wow, he had a lot of room open in the middle, but he just floated it. If it was more of a line drive ball, it might have been caught. But ladies and gentlemen, that's going to be our ball game. All Washington has to do is get a first down. USC has no timeouts. It was landing, but there was a flag. There was a pass interference. Oh, play is under review for something. I don't know why the play is under review. So I'm guessing to see if this... We're on the field's an interception. I don't know why they're reviewing it. Oh, uh, maybe if he had control of the ball. Yeah, I don't know what they're reviewing. That's that's a pick. Yeah, it's very hard to win with a third string QB. This might have been a different ball game if they had JT Daniels or the backup. Because the backup's alright. The backup's not that bad. So Washington can pretty much kill this clock out. Here we go. Washington comes back out. First and 10 from their own one yard line. Up 14. No timeouts for you and USC.
Quarterback sneak right up the middle and a good push for about five yards by Easton. Clark continues to run. Virginia has an easy schedule for the rest of the season. Well, that might be good for the ranking. But not good today. So, clock continues to run. 1.45 left. USC has no timeouts. Ball's handed off to Ahmed to the left. And they will get about seven yards. Third and short. Minute 30 left to go. Yeah, they need a fumble. Back. They're not going to throw the ball, Damian. They need a fumble. Remaining schedule for Washington, Stanford, Arizona, Oregon, Utah, Oregon State, Colorado, and Washington State. So it should be good games at, against Oregon and Utah. Fifty nine seconds left to go. I agree, Daniel. I agree. All right, ball snap. Hand off. Ahmed pushing. First down, and that's the ball game, folks. Washington could just run out this clock. And ladies and gentlemen, the final score at today's game, Washington Huskies 28, USC Trojans 14. USC, had they had... JT Daniels or the back of quarterback. This may have been a different story, but ladies and gentlemen, once again, tonight's final, today's final score, Washington will take it 28-14. They will move to 4-1. USC will fall to 3-2. That sucks USC had the best trial for the Pac-12 playoffs. Definitely, man. But unfortunately, it will not happen. This is the kneel down, ladies and gentlemen. That's the ball game. I'm going to end this stream right away. appreciate you guys. Tuning in for today's game. Make sure you guys hit that like and sub button on your way out. I probably will not be live the rest of the night. But tomorrow I'll be live for Colts and Raiders. And then starting Tuesday I will be doing playoff game at the playoff game. And then next Monday will be a 49er game. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys have a great day. And I will talk to you guys later. Have a good one guys.